Here comes the infamous um, bottom of the hour, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's kind of like there's only six hours of really rambunctious trading left. So there's a chance here that the euro dollar is going to uh, trump. It's going to trump the yen. So your your old dollar is going to dress up with orange hair and it's going to march into Japan, waddle in, pirate style, peg leg it, do the old peg leg. That's a that's a great Halloween get up. So what I put out on the, I put on the list here this morning was, so say you want to make. Uh, uh, Let's say you want to make uh, $30 an hour. Risking $15 an hour, I guess if you made your ratios here double, which I didn't on these, 13 to make 18. Now, if I take off the eight-hour drops, so if I just run this palette, what I'm focusing on is the, um, the fact that if I choose um, all my stops and take profits here, these are single drops, you can write your own, set your own stops. You can have a three pip stop, but it would it would behoove you <laughs> to put the order in like this. Here's that order, that order, and that just like I did here. You stack those up, and one hour, poof, they're gone. Magic. So if you can't get your platform for eight hours and you go for the eight hour big kahuna fourteen pip stop to make twenty, fifteen to make twenty four. On and on it goes forever, right? If I did every increment of exit, you can only imagine how many fuck. You need another monitor. Get a vertical monitor. This is another option. Get a vertical monitor and put all the tickets. Put your navigation on that. Um, flip your get a. It seems like the vertical monitors kind of unless they're really well done, they suck. Unless they're IPS because uh, they have a. Uh, Landscape monitors are set up to be like viewed on the horizon, so it really fucks with it when you turn it sideways. But if you want to drag and drop from that other monitor um, and see all the available uh, scripts that you wrote, you're really just a painter. You know, I, I'm just a painter. I'm just painting orders into the market. Um, sure, I can buy at the market, but. Jesus Christ, I mean, I can't buy a standard lot at the market. That's retarded. It's better to place a standard lot like this and just go, oh, I put 100 of these orders in today. Well, it's a, it's a real job, right? You put them down here. You put these guys down here in case the market should go zooming down there for some reason. And just mark off these pivots. This is the euro dollar. Like These pivots are pretty damn stinking easy to see, right? Look at this doji here. This is mind-blowing. As you just come into, I'm sure there's a, I guess you could put a trend line in here like this, right? Um, yeah, not the best trend line broke, but you also have the entries down here. Same on the euro yen. Um, this one's going to be, this is a five-pip grid here, so you've got uh, plenty of space to just put these guys. You could have tight, uh, just trying to make, uh, you know, the ratios are mind-blowing, but the, the risk craps out at, say, 20 pips, right? So $2 on a drop. Now, if you were sitting at, at, at a, if you were the guy at the, um, oh, God, at the bar, the bouncer guy, right? Whoever does the front door. And so the guy that's collecting money, he's just like, dude, we took in like fucking $300. Like, now it's just $2 a person. If the cover chart, if the really a hopping bar, right? If the band's good. We went to a bar years ago in Florida. This is down at on uh, this is some like a uh, high end Boca Raton or something or I don't know what the fuck. We drove up the coast here. We go to this bar and we just freaked out. We we thought, well, this party, let's go out and party. We get there, it turns out the fucking bar is um like fifteen bucks to get in. What? Then you're in. And there's some bitch that's oh, okay, she's hot only because she's wearing a fish nut and she's all she's all uh torsoed up and and so she's got roses for like five bucks a piece i'm like come on so that's the glam <laughs> the glam life of uh really trashy bars i guess in florida <laughs> glam world so looking for this thing to go up i put cells up here i'm not even paying attention these are grids i put up but hand place like this 
So every hour you come in, you're risking. Now, this is you're hiring somebody for $15 an hour. All those add up to $15. Now, you can make them so they make 40 bucks. And then your job is to come by every hour. I could put a goober entry here, right? I could put a buy stop here and go, you know what? I don't want to babysit this. I'm probably going to buy it at the market as soon as it goes up a cut here, so I'm just going to put them in here like this, right? Now, you know what you're risking here. Yeah, okay, I'm risking 10 bucks. That's that's my, if anybody wants to know, this is the ultimate um, trade plan. I mean, all the way to trade trades, to trade off your plan. Plan your trade, trade your plan. <laughs> it's, that, it's that easy. You take you tr plan your trades and you drop them. I want to buy here. If it comes down here in the next hour, would you buy with a 15 pip stop if we re retested? Now, you would ask yourself that question down here, but you would ask yourself that question on a four hour, eight hour basis. Is it a good idea to buy at the feeding zone? Is it a good idea to buy low and sell high? Always. Fuck yes, always. Is it a good idea to um, go through the labor of putting in 13K here by hand like this, right? You just build a position up here. I was trying to get this guy to do it, this this guy that wouldn't trade demo. He just wasn't into that. He's, you know, he's like, oh, I'm just going to, I don't, I don't care. I'll blow up the account. Deleting stops, putting in big positions, trading at the same price, and then saying to me, what the fuck? I, blew, I just blew up my account. Wow. And I never told them where to get in, where to get out. I just said, I'm buying this. If I said I was buying the euro dollar, you know what somebody would say to me the next day? They'd say, you bought that? I mean, the guy that's thinking, well, you know, uh, he, he's, he sees this thing crash. And he's like, oh, my God, you must have got killed. Well, what if I bought, what if my buy started here based on this, this, right? What if I had a pool of orders here and the cash out is here? I mean, it's ridiculous to talk about trades like that. Same thing if this is going up and you say you sell. What if your sells start here at the obvious levels? So it's, it's, it does no good to, to talk about trades like that. And, to, and pick directions, really, did, I mean, the thing is how to place these orders in the most, the most precise way possible. Right? How to... If you have enough, plus the guy didn't have enough money in his account to trade the way he's trading, you can, you can write like once you discover what you want to risk, you can make a button that does that risk. Right? You can throw in orders that have that risk, but first you've got to envision it, rehearse it, practice it on a demo, run strategy tester, take a, uh, a pencil, take this, um, it's called uh, Epic Pen or whatever drawing tool. And draw the fucking top on the market. You trade it real. T you trade it like you don't need to back test this shit. You need to be able to fucking dance with the devil. Okay, you, you're never gonna unless you see how insanely erratic the market is. And how would you tactically take advantage of that? What can you do to to um, make money from that situation? So here I got sell limits up here like an idiot. These are terrible trades. I would never sell up into that. Maybe for 15 minutes. So when people are freaking out about my videos, they don't realize that these could be these cells could decay in 15 minutes. I could have a button hit, and this thing could go bye bye in 15 minutes. No more risk. So the this if the script that's the tightest you can you can't go for a five uh, second. I can't go for a five minute script. Apparently, I, I, I quit trying. A couple of brokers just they, they would not let me do it. So. I said, well, I'm just going to, uh, uh, you know, go with what uh, their force is. Here's a 130. It would be the logical target in six hours, maybe. This is uh, 6, you know, 30 in the morning here. Now, we have the f now, this is five minutes after the bottom of the hour. We're creeping up on the high of yesterday and the high of way back, right? The high of the week. And we still could hunt down this price 130 right here these wicks before the this is the big climax into look how vicious these wicks are 
four hour just a zipper. Now they would have blown you out. Now if you make these ratios super tight, you won't even notice that you're losing money, right? It would be such a, a flash a flash blow through. Your if you're only risking a ten pip stop, uh, fifteen. So you make every there is no secret formula. There is no perfect script. There's only your trade plans and the market. And can, does your trade plan fit the market? In other words, you have to fit the market as opposed to reading it and trying to um, be the market or something like that. Or um, it's too hard to, uh, it's too difficult, I think, to, uh, you know, really. Um, You get ex overexcited about some, I don't know, some setup, some situation, and really fucking overload the wagon <laughs> and really do some serious damage, right? So if you spread your risk and you know right there you have it in your hands, you know, you have the risk in your hands, you have the ability to control that on the, on the um, I don't know if news, what, did bid rate come out? Minimum bid? the fuck is this shit? Anyways, you see they're killing me on that cell bank. <laughs> that was not a good idea, was it? Okay, so we're smashing up into 130 possibly here. Huge climax. Um, into the wicks. I don't know, is there some big news just came out? I'm not paying attention. Anyways, um, so that's it. Uh, you know, here we, we're attempting to fill. Now, we just took out the high of the week, and we're coming up on 129. A lot of people are going to sell here. So we might get out there. Okay, so it's going to be maybe another five minutes of punishment here. So let's go to the five-minute chart. We'll go to the one-minute chart. I guess people are backing off of that at 400. Okay, so here we go. It's uh, 129, 650. Okay, so that was kind of like it. Now we should probably, I, I got this set up to take profits. I don't know which one I'm up on here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bail, and I'm gonna come back in with these hand drops. I don't know if I just got out or not. Oh, I don't, I don't forget this. Anyways, it looked like this, right? You're saying, I would put a 7-pip stop in here because we know we're going to buy low. We're not. There's no fucking way I'm going to sit here and try to fucking snipe the entry of this thing. I'm sick of it. I can't do that shit. You know, I mean, why not just set tight ratios here and do a one-hour drop, right? And when you come back to here, this could come all the way back to here, just like we did here on the, on the one-minute chart. We could have come all the way back to the starting gate, right? How many times have we seen that? Breakout, pullback, almost, right? Um, but I could chase this with uh, drops. I won't, I'm not going to blow the account up if I know I just put in $30 of risk for the next hour on two instruments, right? If there's $1,000 in the account, if $1,000, you really, how much are you going to risk this morning, I guess, is the question. How much are you going to risk tonight? How much are you going to risk tomorrow? What is your risk? Are you going to go for the $20 trade, or are you going to go for the, that would be like uh, 20 10 pip drops. Surely you can find different places to place that so you're not fucking putting yourself in a $20. Um, it's got to happen on this $20 ticket. Twenty. I mean, I get it if you put a 200 pip stop on the 1K, right? Then you're swing trading. You go trade the guppy like that. You put some fucking money. You know, look, I'm up ten bucks on this fucker with a. You could put a twenty pip stop with a with a hundred pip take profit if you can afford that trade. There's no fucking way you want to take your whole account and do that same trade. This 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 kid with this, it's hilarious. It, it's I mean what what an astounding. I I gotta think the guy's just goofing on me, you know. It's like Baba Booey shit. I, I'm like who the fuck like, wow. Really? So I think I'm up on this. Let me get out of my winners here. 
so I can I want to monitor my entrance on these tickets. Okay, so I just went flat on whatever I was up on. Now, here I just want to see if I can get in the market just by dropping. And I if I force to, they twist my arm, I'll put a drop on top. I'll put one on the um so these are just the simplest single um, drops that I originally had. Uh, well, the, I found these on the internet years ago, and I see them out there again, but without the timestamp. So here's the pullback. Are they going to fill me on any of my tickets? Now, if they don't, okay, here's a sniper entry. They just took out that low you'd buy at the market, right? But why, why kill yourself? Right? Put an order in. Why do people want to work so hard? The work ethic is another thing. Is that this idea that you're going to get up and go jogging and all this shit? I don't know. If you think that can make you be a better trader, whatever. I, I mean, I'm, I think I'm so crippled from sitting here now that I don't think it matters, right? I mean, if you can drag and drop, this is why if you're like, you you don't have a um, another gig, and somebody is home, right? That's why these chicks should be trading, right? They're just sitting at home doing nothing, <laughs> laundry. Um, so, like, here's your... Now, this could come ripping all the way back to the starting gate. How many times have we seen that? So now I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm, put, I'm up to, like, $30 rest now. Now I have to sit on this trade for an hour and not touch it. Okay, just got filled on something. I don't know. So I got filled on this guy in a limit only. Let the market come to me. So let it come to me. But if you had enough money in the account, you could just hit a... I have an account that you just hit a button and it lays them in for 15 minutes. I mean, fucking a lot of money for 15 minutes. So when that thing spikes down and, and rapid fire come out, boom. Now, if you know that there's $30 maximum, you add it up. I love the way everybody asks all these questions. It's just, it's simple math. Okay, it's always going to be down to this. Put in some slippage. In other words, overinflate what it's going to cost you. Every project that's ever been done in the whole world costs more than you thought, and it takes longer than you thought. So if you know that up front, plan ahead. And if you don't, if you can't babysit the markets and, and go through all this these wild moves, um, and sit here and like be a sniper, it's just this is ridiculous. I mean. It, 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 you missed the move, right? Unless you, in, in fact, if you sold here to sell here now, that's even a better tr trade, right? Sell here now to make three pips. <laughs> Who knows, right? At any point that you put in orders that, if you start like here's a buy at the market, maybe, right? So I have a trigger here. I'll buy at the market, right? Now. That's the only. I'll buy these two at the market, right? Because that's a pullback. It's just stopped, paused, dozed out. One minute chart. But the rest of this thing. You gotta let the market come to you. You're screwed if you try to get in too heavy here. You're just screwed. So if you started buying standard lots right now on the one minute chart and you've you're already in a half a standard lot and you start you're like, oh I really like this trade, they could trounce you here. And you have a fifty pip stop a five pip stop or a three pip stop, you're gonna lose forty bucks, bam, forty bucks, bam, bam, bam. All of a sudden you're down two hundred dollars. You're up three hundred and fifty dollars from the bottom. On a, on a half that you hand placed and some of that already scalped out because you had the you wrote the I'll risk three to make four I'll risk this to make that I mean this adds up I could I could put about a two hundred dollars of risk in here real quick two hundred dollars of total risk so he, the, I was telling the guy so the guy well, this goes on forever in my brain uh, this this guy. You said, how do I trade? What do I do? Figure out how much you want to risk per day so you have all these tickets here, or per hour. So if you're risking, if an hour goes by, I have the chance to, oh, look, at they filled me on limits. Go figure. So if I think, well, no, I bought the market here. So, but um, you, you just, hey, you know, oh, I'm risking $20 today. Good for you. You got 100 bucks in the account. Now, if, you, if your ratios are set up, risk 20 to make 40. If you know what you're doing, like if you if you can pay attention to the one minute chart, you could trade the one minute chart with drops, not even at the market. Like why bother? Um, this is like a five pip grid, so you pull back ten pips. I 
if I, uh, 10 pips, I know I can run the uh, 3 pips stop, the 1 pip stop right up here, no fill. But I got my hand on the trigger to buy a, a hundredth of the position is at the market. A hundredth of all your trading should be at the market. How often are you ever going to see a situation where you hit that button and it's the best entry in the world? It's not going to fucking happen. If you're sitting there on the one chart, oh, by now. I don't know. How are people doing this shit? So, right? It was right there. That buy at the market was I bought. But I, I could just easily put limits to tenths of a pip in front of the market constantly dropping these guys with a three pip stop put an 80k yen this is trying to tell this guy from brazil all these people i just i just you know you reach a point and you just say but dude it's work um you do a painting and you sell it for 10 grand and the guy looks at it and goes you got about a fucking thousand hours so, yeah no no shit bitch you got a thousand hours into fucking brush strokes on that cunt same thing in trading there's no difference. And it's the art of execution, not the art of war. Yeah, the art of execution, the art of taking the prisoner and cutting his fucking head off. There should be a lesson to all of you as, a, as an example. Um, so we've got six hours to here to hit 130. This, if this is a pullback or this is it. Could, it, could the trend be over here? Oh, yeah, absolutely. This could be a lights out for the day. So depending... Um, what you think, and of course, we haven't even got to the U.S. open news and all that shit, so we could still get some drift up, possibly. A little more panic, a little short squeeze, but we definitely clipped the trees on the four-hour wicks here. We came into the rooftops on the four-hour way back on this chart. So if you look back on this uh, particular, right here, it would be the clip zone, in the, right the, the big target exit is right here. Anything in this window, just above this, just above this rooftop here. So this is the um, the big uh, um, chop out. Okay, it's right here, this thing, because this rooftop here, and then everybody cashed out, and the scalpers have made their instant winning off the top of that they just got a flash uh burst to the upside and they and they cashed out there you have to assume right okay so we go back to the um the uh big view here now i'm gonna fix the scale on this okay i'll fix the old scale okay so that may be it for the day because uh we come into this window that rooftop there now um buyers would come back in here looking to come after this window here and we just march through all these stops and go on the stop hunt short squeeze to the north side shear these off another uh, 15 pips for this currency it's not this thing can rip like look at these look at this double bottom down here retest uh, entry here you can only imagine how much money you could have made here with putting the effort into placing all the orders so that's all it is it's just it's just it's just work like it's like a real job here you buy at the market right so this looks like a buy at the market right now hey i'm adding you know what it could be bad so why not just just to err on the side of caution pull the trigger at the market is least in fact try to avoid ever trading at the market you know it's i mean if you're a swing trader, okay, you can build a position. You're like, eh, I'm, I'm, I'm overpaying a little bit. But you have to add the total risk up on that, too. If you're going to risk $20 per trigger pull, then where are you at on the account? right? Then the account's still blown up because you can only put on how many trades with $100 in the account or $1,000 in the account. Easy to blow up an account, you know, very easy. Um, because you could just say, well, this looks like, hey, the trend's up. The trend's up. The trend's my friend. Yeah. Holy shit. I mean, until it's not, and not to mention all the counter trend trading that's going on around you. So here's the one minute chart, and this is this is like you had you had to buy here and just say, you know, what? I got a tight stop, better go up fucking five pips. Now, if you're in really big, you are trying to make five pips, and you're out. So this is the euro against the yen, euro against the dollar, and you would just take the money and run. Maybe you're getting in here because. 
in the morning there's a panic like this and maybe this if this is the end of the day this could have this maybe would fizzle out and even here you could still have a reversal any time of day you could have a reversal if there's any foul through to the top of the hour here then it's going to be one of those well they're just going it's just going to keep chunking north and then by the so in the next five hours, you'd be out of the whole trade, and it's drifting up into maybe 130 if you're lucky. Sellers are coming in here now because you just, they would assume this is the shoulder, right? This is, they, there's trapping on the one minute now. Same thing here. Somebody just scalped that. Guaranteed somebody got the fuck out there. And you can see their orders going through the market because you can see all the fucking activity at that price. Why is the market viciously smashing up and down? Because buyers and sellers are, are, are getting on either side of the price. They're tugging it around, treating it like a rag doll. So the sellers should come in at this doji, right? This should be where they come in. Based on pivots, this is a pivot, and the sellers come in here and they back it down to here, and then you'd have a buy limit here and just go back and forth. you got a sell limit here that cashes out to the doji. Back and forth, back and forth. So I bought, you know, if you want to snipe it, it's going to be like this. Why not just have a buy limit here? Yeah, you maybe pull the trigger here, right? You pull the trigger on new lows at the five-yard line. Boom, 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 boom. Hit the key like, and you're already out because you just, each key trigger pull was a standard lot, and you're looking to make three pips. So you just made $300. And here you're paying commissions on this broker. This is super tight spread. This is adamant. It, it's a quarter pip plus commissions. Now, I'll warn you, if you ever trade here, get the fuck out of the market before 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where they will blow your account up. The spread on the euro yen went to 40 pips on close. Well, it looked like 40 pips to me. Yeah, it was about 40 pips. Um, it was insane. It, it, it's literally nuts. And... Uh, I mean, I looked at the other brokers, and they, were, they weren't like... So they were like, ECN, they let go of the price. <laughs> I don't know if you know these brokers, but they let go of that. They have nobody taking the other side of that trade. Like, they don't have any. They're out. Okay, so this would be, the, this would be the, where you buy in the pullback, right? Classic setup here. Here's the head. This is the head. This is the shoulder, supposed to be. This would be the shoulder. Of course, we have to hold this or all bets are off. We could still we could still come to here. Now, who wouldn't buy here? Now, I have, I have orders to get in there. Okay, so I'm up a dollar. I'm using $16. I'm very conservatively trading here. One hour expiration on those tickets. So I could go out. I could go out to the, the bar this morning and get drunk and come back and see where I'm at on the trade. Okay, well, I know I'm, I, I figure what I have to do here as far as the... Um, what I, what I need to do as far as uh, we have to hold this price here. So the snipers would be buying again here. But it's very scary, right? Maybe they bought one here and they bought one on this currency and they're like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm long the euro, but I'm going to hedge my bet. So you're long there. Um, maybe you're still holding from down here and this was where the sellers came in just like we knew they would and they pulled it back to here. So it's just back and forth, up and down, ebb and flow. Here is the, it's just easier to uh, see the woman out. The buyers came in here because uh, they're assuming this is a shoulder and we're, we're just running out of, uh, also running out of sellers. The big picture may be, you know what, if this thing takes this out, if this thing takes that out, and people that, um, you know, the, the trend traders are coming in now, so it's kind of getting scary because I don't like these late uh, moves. But in the, before the top of the hour, we could come up and, and take off the um, clip out the high of the day here because we've got six minutes here to do it and pounce on the high of the day. Now, this is the... Typically, the time of day it happens because there's such a rollover, a quick rollover here, and this is the end of the week and everything. But we could still smash all the way back down to here. So placing the buys in here is the answer. Um, stacking up at different prices always, and this is a dollar to make $2. So to make $200, you have to drop that um, ticket 100 times. 
So are you willing to drop, this is the question, are you willing to work to make money? And so getting an EA, it's bullshit, right? I mean, it's just, it, it, there's no, it's not worth it because you have to buy a fucking uh, $5,000 computer to even have that thing go churning away, right? To have that thing uh, mill through all the possible um, possibilities. Whereas you can see plainly here, structure-wise, okay, now buy at the market here is a sniper entry. All right, we got a double bottom. That was some shit, fuck. Hit the wrong key. Damn it. I had the wrong key in that. Was I still in the, uh, here. Why did that come? Okay, buy it. I just bought the market, so I just, in here, I'll buy at the market. So this is a double bottom, right? That's a sniper entry. And as soon as it gets here, somebody's going to get out. Somebody's cashing out guaranteed here. You'll see an reaction at the five-yard line. Better than Fibonacci all day long, right? Five pips is better than Fibonacci. Starts with an F2, but five pips, people. That's all you need is to make is five pips of the three pip stop. Can you do that trade on the women's chart? Can you rehearse that? Are you willing to trade dumb on that instead of you blow up your account and blame me? Are you willing to do that? Right? Are you willing to do that? There's no will and there's no way. If there's no will, there's no way. Here's one you think you could do. You want to force the market? Draw a path for it. Here, give it somewhere to go. Like, here, paint, like, clear the, put a red carpet in. Come on, honey, come this way. Okay, well, so at every moment, there's two possibilities. Always, right? There's always, are we going this way? I like these people do the charts. So are we either going up or we're going down? Well, see, that's the way to think, right? I don't have to predict the market. Can we make it up to here? Is that possible? Can we go up five pips? Can we go down five pips? How long is it going to take? Uh-oh. Bad sniper entry. Getting crushed here. Let's see? Sniper not so good. Man who dropped price, uh, single drop. Out trade man who shoot at uh, ghosts, you know. That's uh, my fortune cookie. I went into the, uh, so you put a drop here. You know, put a drop here. Drop a guy here. Forex uh, fortune cookies. Right. Dot com. Yeah, that's where I get my, I have a Forex restaurant. But people come in there with their laptops. They don't eat much. They trade. They drink coffee. Okay, I'll buy at the market here. Okay, we have to take out the high of the day here. We? If we don't go, keep going higher, we're fucked. It's, it's done. The trend's no longer our friend. Not the cut bait. So we'd have to miss out on all the for, f fame and fortune of it going out, taking out the high of the day. Another, another uh, bone-crushing thing to think about is the, um, the lack of fame and fortune when you blow up your account. Well, you could be famous for that, too, right? The whale. Okay, so there's a five-pip window here and about a uh, nine. So this is just, just over an eight-pip window here, a little bit big window here, because this is more volatile currency, so this window here is bigger. From here to there, I'm looking at that vacuum, and I'm looking at this one here. This is the one, smaller one, but, I mean, this guy... It's not as volatile as that yen. The yen's just off the charts. Crazy, right? So I calibrate my grid. Five pips. Um, just going to sync the five pip grid up there. Now you would know, oh, I can put a five pip stop. I can buy at the five yard line with a five pip stop for the next hour, for the next half hour, next 15 minutes. And I hope everyone knows how to edit these. You've got your stop clearly done at four it runs on four and five decimal brokers here's your take profit and how long does it last right here that's it S simple as pie you know that, and then slippage i just leave it here and there's your size All right how many lots and it's that's as simple as that that's our whole uh trade plan right there and one and just it could be a m30 maybe four hours three hours and you drop all those things, and then you just write down your list of risk. That's all you do. It's that simple. You don't need anything else. Everything else is uh, predicting and speculate. I mean, it's analyzing and all that. That's not going to do too much. 
Look at him pull this back. See, they're raping my market, my sniper entry. But I got buy limits down here, right? Now I can say, oh, looks like they're going to crush it. Looks like they're going to crush it. I'll put another six dollars of risk in. Now, if a half hour's gone by, these things are literally going to evaporate. Every, so every hour you come back and you're putting out more. Um, it's like these uh, Walmart, you know, you go in Walmart and they got this shit with these chickens. They will throw them out after four hours. I'm like, what the fuck? And then they put padlocks in the dumpsters so people don't eat them. What the fuck, right? It's like that guy that uh, they took him off of uh, ESPN because his name sounded like the guy that they ripped down the statue of. Huh? Like, uh, is everybody so scared of their fucking mind that logic and reason have to get in the back seat of your fucking life? Like, you've got all that money in the world. Like, this is how you're, this is how when you're, um, got advertisers how you're totally fucked you can't say what you want to say um, you cannot be people can't be uh, organic of course there was all sorts don't forget you couldn't sleep in the, you couldn't be shown on TV sleeping in the same bed so you're always taking down all these things you could not be uh, a man and a woman could ha had to be in separate beds on TV, it was fucking illegal to be filmed uh, in bed. And now, you got like soft porn. Like, I was watching Lifetime Channel once years ago, and I, I was like, holy fuck. Did you order, honey, did you order soft porn? And, you know, it's just. And then women came out with these uh, bathing suits. It's just like a piece of dental floss up your ass. What? I'm waiting for the, the day they take off people's skin and go, you should see the veins on this fucker. I mean, where, what the fuck? Um, you know, the, the burka chick's got a long way to go. I mean, I want to date a burka girl because I'm thinking to myself, the striptease has got to be amazing, right? She starts off with fucking full blankie on. Like she's, then she get down and she's got a fucking what, a, a snuggie on after that, right? She's got a layered up. Turns out she's anorexic, right? She looked like a plimp. You know, that would be the bone-crushing thing where the chubby chaser comes up to this burka chick and turns out she's anorexic because she's just layered up so heavy. <laughs> Oops. But hey, you know, stuff happens. So I'm tempted to get out here. It's tempting to sell here. Now, certainly for people that are trying to sell into this, they would be selling right here at the market. So I'll sell at the market. I'm going to trust these sell ticket. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sniper that. So I put one in there, and I would put one cell drop on top. Now I can do the same thing here for an hour above me. If I think we're going to zoom up here, in two hours we'll be here, and then you're doing like an ETA, and in eight hours we'll be up here. But the day's over, the week's over. There is going to be no. You can't plant yourself a swing trade now. You can't put a cell limit up there, thinking it's going to come retrace down. I don't think so because I think the I think the jig's up. Next week you could do that trade, but it's going to take you fucking three days. It's a it's a it's a empowered disempowered trading entry. It's going to take you three days to get filled on that ticket, right? So why bother? Um, the only thing is you kind of it's like scalpers world here, and then of course in six hours this thing's going to get up there. It's if it bounces, you could put scalps up there, but you couldn't put a monster swing in there. Like I'm going to sell fifty pips north to make thirty pips. I think the only thing you could do is think. Okay, I put scalp banks up there. Maybe if I pepper the screen just right, if I if I'm if I know there's a zone, there's a vacuum, and how is it going to fill? Is going to fill if it fills in one big zooming smash, you're fucked. If it, if it goes up there and it gets drifty, or if you're just watching it and you are trading all day long and that's all you do, you placing cell limits that last 15 minutes in front of the market and you're kind of just Placing them out there, you see a price pulse, you place it out there, you see a price pulse. This is if you're intending to scalp off the highs. If you're intending to get long, maybe you get your finger on the buy market, buy market, buy at the market trigger, and you're buying little scalps when you see them show up, and you're sniping the one minute chart, right? Like you got in down here. And maybe you're gonna ride this out till it busts out another, right? So one maybe one we hit 129, uh, at the end of the day, but certainly here's going to be the moment of truth. We're right at the high of the day now. How is it going to react? What kind of thrust can we get out of this? Right? What kind of smash run-up are we going to get? 
This is gonna, and this, this has not broken out the high of the day yet. So this is about to, and if the reaction is a 50 pip burst, then we're gonna love it, right? Who doesn't love a 50 pip burst if you're long, right? Only a person that is selling that and getting crushed. So I, I did that. I did that. Uh, I'm getting filled on sell limits, by the way, too, with very shallow uh, stops and targets. But I did sell at the market there, thinking, oh, yeah, what's up? Now the sell limits are making money here because I did put a trap up in there earlier. And the sellers should come in here, right? We're testing the high today. Can we hold it down here? The seller is going to be able to pull this thing back to uh, down 100 pips now. I don't know. I think the cat's out of the bag. I think it's one of those maybe it drifts up a little bit more. 129.80, a lot of people get out. Uh, just 129.75 because there's a there's a ledge up there on the on that. Uh, there's a tip, wick, wick tip at uh, like... What is it? Uh, Twenty nine. That's like eighty. Let's say right about eighty there. So another ten pips up here. Eighty two. Twenty nine eighty two. And then it's over, right? It'll be crazy. It'll go sideways. Um, it'll be choppy. You know the ride's kind of over for that burst, and then you could range trade it gently the rest of the day, right? Uh, because it's, it's just, you have to go with what, you know, these things, um, these big pounding moves and these retracements, they just have a life life expectancy. They have a uh, life uh, um, span to them. And, of course, if the if the euro kills the yen here, we expect the, uh, the euro to kill the dollar next. And just a little domino effect here, and then... Maybe we're done for the day then. And we just we just go uh I guess I go out and get more beer. <laughs> so the uh yeah the dollar that now they both um tested the high of the week here. We're coming back to retest the high of the week on the euro here. Cause we've been here before in the euro, but this is new territory for the Euro yen. I'm going to fresh uh territory. Uncharted land there, but um, certainly this this uh, d dollar euro to the dollar, it's coming up on highs of the year now. Again, we're about uh, 180 pips from the borderline of the high of the year. But there's a nice uh, hole that's been forming on the top side of that uh, euro dollar. It crushed about another, I'd say, uh, oh, 15 pips up. And then it's going to be crazy when you get to uh, 118, 40. That's going to be some psychosis there. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. So people will come selling in there. Sellers are already come. Sellers are making money right here. So we would have our finger on the take all profits per symbol on this one. If I'm trying to scalp off this and get out of my shorts, one more price pulse down to here. And I'd say we could get out. If it comes back to this breakout point, we would take the cells off the table. So if I had my finger on the trigger here, and this would be another sniper act. Okay, it looks like I'm not going to get it, so I'm getting out here. So I got out of those uh, cells, and because uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to have a chance to... Um, I'm still short, so... Partial exits. Always taking something out, you know? Always getting out. Like if you're in real, if your account's huge and you're scalping and you've got a bunch of money in the account and you're scalping on it, then you're always just in and out, in and out because you can't, I mean, it wouldn't make a difference, right? You shouldn't do a trade. You shouldn't plan a trade that you're not going to do the way you planned it. So if it is a scalp button and it is a sniper trade and you just have to stick with that and go, you know, I can't keep hitting that button. Uh, uh, because I think, oh, this looks like even better entry than the other entry. If you're already in and you've used up your allotment of margin for the day, then you're in. That's it. Don't touch it. If that's a swing trade that you built and you're in your allotted margin for the day or the week, then there, because th this way you don't blow up the account, right? If you did the math on each ticket, you're like, okay, well, it took a little hit, but we can still live off the account, right? We have enough money in the account, we can live off of it. That's the whole idea of trading. So is 
I mean, trading for a living is that you can live off the account. So you, you get more than one account, right? You spawn your account. You get a scalping account. You get a swing account. That's the work part, right? Get an account. In fact, anybody that wants to trade, uh, start trading. And videotape your trades, I say, because that's the ultimate journal is to, in the act, record it, say what you're thinking, you know. Uh, and then the, the later on, you can think what you're saying. You can think about what you said. I do that all the time. We, we used to do all these high-end jam sessions. It was a kind of a crime, actually. <laughs> a jamming crime, let's say, just because high-end gear, right? Record the stuff the hard disks, but rarely publish it, right? You want to keep that on the lowdown. So, you, you know, just no no real uh, audience either. Okay, we just got... We're, see, now, the, shell, the shell, shorts I could have gotten out. I missed my chance to get out of that, that bad trade. So I can hedge it. I'll buy it at the market. I'll offset that bad one. So here's a sniper entry. Buy it at the market, right? Now, how often does that happen? It looks like a nice gentle pullback to a previous top. Okay, nail it. One minute chart. But in the end... It's going to be like you put the, your order in where nobody was, everybody's got to stop there and you got a limit entry there. And you're just whistling, uh, you're, just, you're just giggling, right? You're laughing all the way to the bank because you have a trailing buy limit where people have a trailing sell style to protect their lungs. You have a trailing buy limit to get in and buy their stop off them. And the breakout thing, so... If you're trading at the market, you're really saying to yourself, I think I want to get in before the breakout. Otherwise, you would place a buy stop. Right? People that trade at the market say, no, this is the price. Right now is the price. People that trade on a stop entry say, no, it has to trip a threshold. As soon as you put a buy or sell stop in the market, how close is it to the market? How long does it last? And what is the stop and take profit? Those are huge questions nobody wants to deal with, apparently. They just see a fucking Gartley pattern, and they're like, I want in. I'm going to get out of this, uh, these winning cells. Okay, so I'm going to put one more buy in. So they, they don't want to worry about the fucking hit, and which button you're going to hit, and when you're going to do this. And So we just got a wick hunt there. Now, if I put a buy limit in, so this is where this is handy-dandy shit. If I put a buy limit right there and the ask is the yellow line, it has to dip and break that bar for me to get filled on that ticket. That's my whole, my whole system. That yellow line has to hit the buy limit and we will go long. I didn't get filled on that because that's just a bit. So in an ask situation, now on the sell side, it's different. I would actually say I just got filled. I just got filled perfectly on that. Didn't even have to pull the trigger on that. Oh. See, now I could have pulled the trigger on that, but what's better? What, it's always better to hand place a buy limit first and buy low. And now I could put a buy stop on top, which would be like a market order, right? If I miss the entry. Okay, big pull back to here. So put a buy limit here, right? Put a buy limit here. If you're going to buy a pullback... Put your buy limits in. So we could pull it all the way back to everything. We go all the way back to the starting gate, right? Here too, look at. All the way back. So, and how much is this? How much did I just risk? Why would I why would I pull the trigger at the market here? When I'm not even sure I'm gonna get the fill I want. There's more slippage on a market order because when you see that price and you hit that button, you're waiting for that market. Or that market order's got to go all the way through all that all that porn, and it's got to make it to the broker, and he's going to fill that. And if you put limits in, you're saying, no, I'm going to buy that price right there where that guy's stop is. And his stop's on bid. And it may go below that. So this is the wick window. And you're just hand placing these guys in like this, right? Just like this. And maybe not all these, but you put a dense order pack in here. Or you've just canvassed the whole thing down lightly. It's all how, it's all how thick you want to trade. How heavy are you? How 
big a trader are you? How heavy do you trade? Um, sure, you could. It, it's gratifying. I get the I get the ego uh, gratification of pulling the trigger here, but isn't this the obvious stop hunt zone? Can't you just imagine all the liquidity living on the edge of these wicks? Now, if you have a hand place order here and it's going to cash out here and your stops here, that's your trade. You have a three pip stop to make this. And how many of those would you drop? And would you keep dropping them in that thing? Did you sell here on the limit? Did you sell in this to make five pips with a five pip stop? I did actually. I got I got some sales in there. I should probably get out of. Um, and maybe they're still making money. Look at this. Still making money on those. So this could be the blow off top. This could be it for the whole day. This looks like a buy at the market possibly right here. But isn't it better to place a, 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 an order there and say, you know what? I don't want to have to fucking sit here like a like a monkey and keep pressing buttons. And What if they crush it all the way back to here in the next hour? Wouldn't you buy off of here? Isn't it just logical? Look at this. Still crushing this back. My cells are making money. I think I still got a sell in there. I'll go for the take all profits. I should take the cells off. Okay, so I'm getting along here. Now this could crush through. The next place this is gonna fall to is this, there's, here's the, uh, after you take out this floor, then you're gonna have to go into this void. So if you get stopped out of your super tight stops here, say you're trading your sniper entry here, and then they crush and you get a flash crash that you didn't plan on, they you'd stop you out here, the account goes flat, and then ba-bam, and it does one of those. Um, just like it did here. Everybody that's accounting on this going a straight line. So everybody buys here. This is a typical situation. Everybody buys here. Top become a bottom. Woohoo, it's going through the roof. Wah, wah, wah. So um, if maybe you maybe you cashed out here and you're putting in buy limits here like this, and you're going to do the same size trade you just did, but you're going to do it um, when it comes back into here. And now I see the buy stops are stacking up on the one minute now. Right, pressure's building up here. There's never been a higher high on this whole one minute walk down. We could still stop out to here. We could still buy here. And then you would put an order here, the five yards. So you put clusters of the five to scalp to here. And then maybe you got a swing trade built into that that gets to here, an exit that goes to here, an exit that goes to here. And maybe this is the final pullback. And since we're trapped in a range, we have a new range trade. And look at this crush back. We could come all the way back to here. We could smash down into here. There's no telling how deep the pullback. Now, if you take the one minute perspective that on closing prices only, see so if you take the wicks out, you're looking at the real, the real structure there. Now, once we get to here, we're probably going to get some hemming and hawing. And before we even get out of this one-minute cage, it's not hard to get out of this because it's only coming up at 7.30 in the morning. So what is the, uh, uh, what's the likelihood we can get out of this uh, to the upper downside? By the end of the day, I think we'll be out of this five-pip range. On closing prices only, I'm not counting the wicks on this. This is a 10 pip range. This is a, uh, about a 7 pip range. So we just stop punt these people, right? So my buy limit should be in here like this. If I want to risk uh, 13 pips, I want to risk 7 pips. I'm going to buy right there. And the next buy is going to be down here. Ricochet up into the, and I could put a buy stop on top. And here's where I could run my goober entries. So we can bracket the market on buy stops and buy limits. Which these are market orders for God's sakes, right? Buy stops here. Now buy stops here coming back. So it'd be confirmation. And I put a buy limit below. So as the market's messing around in here, would it make a difference if I bought at the market now? Like, that's one minute short buy. That looks like it's going up. 
Yeah, because I didn't. If I didn't buy at the five yard line, which I could have bought at the five at the market, or I could have pl hand placed an order in there. So all these uh, tickets are stacked up right in here, and you could easily put in a you know an 18k here, and then here's your next on that your little uh, hot spot here, a node of orders, like order nodes. What do we call them? Now, the expectation for the bulls is we're going to take out this box. We're going to finally weasel our way to this, and then probably the sellers come back, and this could hem and haw for quite some time. And that's what kills people. Because they're like, holy shit, should have got out here. Holy shit. Now, if this is whipsawing you, then it's hard to get... If you know your risk, you could have had cells up here. I could have put cell limits up here. To come back the other way, you could trade pure limits, no stops, and you would just do pure limit drops back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I did have cells up there, and I didn't let them play out all the way back to here, and I started to put the cluster in here at the at the feeding line. So here I'm, I think I'm out of my shorts on this. I'm not sure. I think I just got stopped out of it. There's no more cells up there because they only lasted, I don't know, an hour. I think they're gone now. Oh, sell them. It's still up there. So that's the one minute. Now we're still trapped in this in this area here. On the one minute, this uh, flag box here. It's like this. Here's your box. So this is a ten pip box. This is about a seven pit box and then there's the floor in the box these wicks these two punches the ceiling of the box is here right in this pivot this bottom uh, that becomes a top here just for the range trade of it you know so we have this doji this becomes the feeding zone comes back Goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. Now, this is the top. You come about bottom here. You could, you could have, you could have sniped that. You could have traded for five pips and nailed that. But the idea that that's going to go to the moon after there is really pushing it. I think the idea that this here is going to um, go uh, rocketing to amazing heights. Um, and it did go, it did make a nice move, but perfect. Two triangles, two flags on the one minute, then burst, bam, five pips. You made those five pips, but if you, if your stops were here and you didn't move them, right, and you're expecting this to happen, they just trounced you. They just trounced you. It's like you have multiple trade plans going. You need multiple trade plans. You need a scalp button. You need a scalp, scalp drop. You have also have the super the super wide ones, right? You're gonna make 18 pips, which is pretty hard to do on some of these currencies. Um, so the uh, it looks like we're making an attempt here to take out the high. Okay, just like I thought, come back here and dilly dally. So this is the uh, right in the middle of the in the zone here. What could happen? What could possibly happen? And now we do have a top bottom inside the fair value box. So snipers are buying. Get your guns ready. Okay, make sure your scope. Do you have a spotter? You need some hot chick to look over your shoulder and go, pull the trigger now, daddy. So um, that would be the trigger pull. And there's a stop on the one minute at the five yard line. Notice a little. This is the moment of truth. We're coming to the bottom of the hour. There's a five-minute window. Whatever's coming online or if there's news coming out, God only knows, right? And if it's not, it's going to be, okay, five-minute window here. Five minutes before the, uh, before and after the bottom of the hour, top of the hour is just psychotic. For a one-minute chart, it is psychotic. Um, so we know this is a 15-minute or one-hour breakout. Breakout and close... Breakout on the wicks is a different story. Those are the traps. 
So those are never good places. Like it's always, to me, it's always the uh, price structure on clothes. You have to go with the rhythm of the rhythm of the thing. And really, when you get up into here, it's scary for oh, it's going to keep going. Even here, uh, pulling back to here now, we could still get one more pullback maybe to here. So if you estimate, comes to here in one more minute, maybe we form a triangle here. So then there's the box within the box, right? The flag within the flag, the fractal within the fractal. So people talk about those fractals, but I want to think they understand is you have to have the one-minute fractal. You know, you, you, the fractal is so slow, it doesn't uh, give you the best entry. So Bill, Bill Williams admits that it's a bad place to get in. Yeah, you're buying the wick like an idiot. He says, we do more than that. Well, you'd have to do more than that. You'd have to, either you're accumulating in a BB gun sniper way, you buy one, right, sit tight, make sure that trade holds. If we retest here, you've got enough dry powder to buy every retest within this price level. So your filter is not, you know, your filter isn't going to be, it's going to be price. The price window that you're willing to accumulate at, if you think this is going to take out the high of the day, then you would just keep uh, building a position every time it comes down here. And every time they fill a limit down there, you're going to have to replace that limit because that, that's been filled and it's in. So that would be the work part. You keep dragging and dropping into the same zone, the same ticket over and over. The, the, the rep, the, it's monotonous. It's monotonous repetition, but it makes money. And same thing on the sell side. Of course, no fills up here. And here's the double bottom on the one-minute sniper entry. Boom. You just hit that. You had a, you hit the, are watching this make a double bottom. And as soon as you retest the first bottom, without question, you have to buy if you're if you're that on a one-minute chart and you're and, and you're bullish. The, uh, because it's it's just that it's just that way, right? What are, what else are you gonna do? Now you're hoping that the there's going to be sellers uh, trapping here, and these are all the wicks to take out. There was a, this would if we burst up another five pips, we know sellers are going to come in and take it back to here. So are you willing to put sells up here, all right? The scalp to here is are you into making five pips? And that's another question. Which which is your trade? Honest, be honest with yourself. Am I trying to make five pips or ten pips or fifteen and twenty? And you know the 20 pip winner is going to take a lot more time unless it's a news thing and you and you got a 10 pip stop to make 20 pips and you're like as soon as this thing blasts up like you've got buy stops up here you could place a whole grid of buy stops i wouldn't get too far away i want to get in before we take out the high if you have buy stops pending right here stacked up and 50 percent of the position will be up by here and then the rest is here that's the tactics you're getting in the strategy. You're already getting trapped here. You just got trapped in a breakout here. Now you maybe sell with a breakout here. Now you get whipsawed, right? Anybody ever try this strategy? Oh, sure, I'll buy a breakout here, and then I'll put a stop here, and oh, I get, keep getting fucked. I, I'm walking bull like I've been butt fucked so many times. I'm walking bull like it. Thank you very much. Great system you have. Well, what we do here is we, we put a buy stop, one pip above, and we put it, we get in like 40 standard lots, you know, because very tight stops, all right? Who, who cares? You can only imagine how many, how many uh, stop hunts, right? And here, once again, another tag on the five, and a triple bottom. That's why you can't, you can't buy standard lots every time you get this zone. Because look at this, you could have pulled the trigger again here. Another trigger pull. Uh-oh, they stop hunting me. You got buy limits here, maybe. Buy limits start here. So you're always thinking, always thinking what could possibly happen. Can you come down in here? Would you trade a, a trade off at this level of here? You gotta put a ladder in there. You gotta put a, a, um, a stairway in before it happens. If possible. See, now, that, now we're gonna mess around in this middle zone. We could still retest the whole bottom of this range. We could come down here trap to here then here then finally take out the high that anything can happen and it always does so the bottom of the hour just came and went 
Here comes the half hour traders. Look at him smash this all the way back. Classic. Right? We're already long here. Let's buy again. So I'll buy here all the way back to the starting gate and then beyond, right? What if they come down here now? For an hour. I'm anticipating a plunge here, a black swan event. So these all black swan orders. These are flash crash retracers. Looking to make 11 pips with a 7 pip stop down here. Okay, now you buy at the market, right? Because they just stop hunted this. You'd only buy at the market here if you didn't get filled on your limit sitting right here. Now we're at the bottom of the fair value range on the one minute chart, right? This is the uh, this is support here. Now they trapped you on both sides of that. You got filled on a buy stop here. You got filled on a sell stop here. Holy moly! Now. If you th faithfully were putting trailing buy stops on the one minute chart, you could see here that you would be stacking up. On the one minute chart, you're stacking up these orders now. That's the only thing a robot could possibly do. I could think of it. He's putting in buy stops, like trailing buy stops. He's going to get involved here. He's putting in these for 15 minutes. Okay, he's just starting to get filled now. He just got filled on that ticket. No fill here yet. Okay. Then he stops buying. He doesn't buy any of these. This is what we're counting on to cash out to here and to here and all the way up. Okay, he just got trapped on that. This one hasn't got filled yet. So either this is now if the stop is here, you're fucked. That's why you need more than one robot. You need a robot that's going to put a stop in here and he's got to take profit here. And he's going to get on the same criteria of entry, but he's got different stops. We just got filled here. Um, okay, so we're long there. Now I can put the buy stops in. Right, oh, shut up. Got a drum on here. Um, put a buy stop here. So I can do a goober entry. Oh, this won't let me out of drawing mode. Okay, so here I could buy, buy stop, right? Another buy limit. Another another buy stop. So I could bracket the one minute bar. There you go. Seven pips. Okay, I'm up to ten dollars of risk here. Same thing here. And if I'm looking to make the big big kahuna eighteen pips, here's the thirteen to make eighteen. I can make that five to make eighteen. So if I make this 5 to make 18, I make it 0. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm going to make this f 5 pips here to make 18 pips. Now that's a great, that's a great ratio, right? Now we could, do, we could just do a sell stop the same, uh, sell, uh, take it the same way. This thing flips between stop and, and, uh, this flips between a stop and a limit. So this is a single drop. The ultimate simplicity in trading, really. Very difficult to blow up your account, uh, risking uh, 70 cents per drop. Come on. Like, that just goes to show you. I just, I can't, I just, I just don't think I'm ever going to get over it. What an experience. Well, that's, see, that's why I went on the Internet, for that experience, apparently. So let's find that drop. I just wrote, here's the 5 to make 18. Now here... The market cannot back up five pips off of this. We have to go ripping through that. It cannot step back five. So, okay, here's buy stops. Buy stops. Now, I can put these above. I did this on a news video once. I just put uh, goobers here. Now, we, now, the robot's getting filled here. He never got stopped out. Notice he never got stopped out as it walked down into this area. And here was your um, your pivot brought forward. We retested that pivot. Always retesting. The funny thing is there's so much opportunity in the market that it's overwhelming. There are so many fucking trades it's overwhelming. That's why I wouldn't I wouldn't trade more than one or two currencies. This I'm really just kind of trading the euro in a way because I have euro yen, euro dollar. Um, so it's all about the euro, right? 
I could go Euro to Australia, all that shit. Of course, Euro to Australia made me more violent. You may need a bigger script. But you could trade the Euro against all the pairs, you know, Euro to this, Euro. You have a top-down view at the market, top-down view of the market. Because the dollar yen, euro to the yen, it's not top down. It's 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 looking it's like a inverted thing for me. It looks inverted to me. Okay, so here is the uh we're now the goal is that we're gonna now they just trap me on these. Five pip stops though. So here I'm at uh, one eighteen. I'm I'm sorry, eighty six fourteen we'll say. Eighty six fourteen. 86.14 on the account, and uh, here it is. That's the, uh, what is it, 7.35 a.m.? See, look at that. Look at that vicious pullback. Now I can do the same script here and um, risk just five pips. Five pips right here. So you put 10 of those, and you're at 10K, for God's sakes. You're risking uh, six bucks. Six to make whatever. 18. Whatever, 18. Uh, I guess six to make maybe 20. No. Yeah, no. It's across the. Yeah, no. Six to make. Uh, you got to take 18 and take that dollar fifty. Six to make a dollar. Six dollars to make $15 if it's 10K. So you would just. But if they're all slightly different. In other words, you can fine-tune the entry, and you're just like, right here, okay. Now, you could smatter the—now, you could pepper the whole bottom. If you're a swing trader, you put on a whole array below you and above you. Above you may not be a good idea today because it looks to me like we could still keep going north. They would have to be scalps. I don't think swing trading is available on the north side right now with this currency. Looks like an accumulation for one more price pulse up here, and maybe we finish off the day like that. Um, there's a there's a void on the uh, dollar to the yen. There's a void. Uh, there's a huge void on the euro yen, and there's a huge like um, void on uh, euro to the dollar. On the on the upside here, just for the burst. I don't know when the news is not going to be that big. Yellen's going to come out at noon or something. But for the people that just want to make these 30 pips, 5 pips, this is what the world looks like when you're trying to make 5 pips, I think, uh, from buy and sell situations. You could sniper into some of this. Like I said, if, you, if you're if you risking a 20th of your account per trigger pull on a market order, the uh, sucker bet, um, as opposed to the structure, uh, plus I just got filled, don't forget, I just got filled on these goober entries. To make 18 pips with a 5 pip stop and the break out of this, knowing that they could kick it back like they just did and punish me. Right? They just took me out of the woodshed because um, all it has to do is kick back this much and I'm out, right? I get filled up here, it comes back here, this is 5 pips, boom, you're out, bye bye, see ya. You're too cheap, you didn't put a wide enough stop in. You're too lazy, you didn't put an extra ticket in. So how do you know you're not making money? You're lazy, right? You don't want to do the work. You don't want to trade the demo. You don't want to write the script. You, how do you know you're not making money? You're lazy. Um, so we're, we're still looking. We still have our eyes. The eyes on the prize is going to be 130. Way the fuck up here. That's a that's a that's a long way to go on the one minute chart. So we just think about uh, pip by pip on the one minute. I'm going to go back to the fixed scale. I'll just reload the template, I guess, here now. Template. Okay, let's just get a fresh template going. Just delete everything, start over from scratch. Okay, so there's the one-minute chart, and we're going to zoom out so it makes sense. We can see the range now. This is a five-pip grid. Very obvious. So hopefully you can see that. Um, now, this looks like a buy at the market here. Because this breakout, pull back to the breakout, it's just risky to trade at the market. That's all I'm saying. A lot more concern. In fact, these buy stops suck, but let's face it. This is confirmation. If I keep stacking these up, I just bought one of the market. You have to be very bullish to put these in. 
you got to be a Super Bowl. You've got to have flames coming out of your nose. You've got to be burning the red blankie. Same thing here. I would put up buy. Here's a great thing. Come in here like this. Instead of buying at the market, just go like this. What's the difference? Okay, I already bought the market here. Ooh, that was quite a little vicious flick down there. Didn't even see that print. I don't know if that captures that on the video, but I think just ba bam. Okay, now they're coming to the borderline. I'm getting filled on the goober entries now. So I said I'm at uh, 2000 Now I'm up uh, $4 from when I started keeping track. I'm up $4 in the account. Using $100 of margin. I think the margin might, I think this account might be a 1000 to one. I'm not sure. But four bucks. I'm up a whole four bucks. I could cash out now and, uh, or I can start deleting some of these buy stops because they think they're ridiculous. I can uh, truncate the market. I can come down in the market like a boa constrictor instead of being a sniper. I can start placing uh, tight, tight buy stops in here. So that means I got to pluck off these um, ones that are away from the, uh, the, they're not snug enough. Because you need to have it tight in, and this one here is a little bit far away. Okay, now I'm going to put some tighter ones in. So as the market's moving, I'm trading around it with these. I'm going to put super tights in here. If we get a blast in here. And don't put any more buy limits in if you've already put too many buy limits in. So you got to figure out what have you already... Okay, I'm at 5 bucks. I'm at 100. I think I just got filled on a buy stop on a goober trade. So this is really kind of a relaxing. Um, you're you're uh, defining the entry based on entry confirmation on a one minute chart, but you're saying, oh, I'm going to risk 50 cents to make a um, dollar uh, 80. Uh, 50 cents to make a dollar 80. Of course, 10k. You know, that's 18 bucks. And I could actually, I don't, I wouldn't do it here because. To me, it doesn't make sense to scatter buy stops up there. It, it could work. I mean, if the market goes zooming, it's going to work. The scenario has to play out just perfectly for that. Now, if you had 15-minute uh, buy stops, I think it's better to buy a cluster of stops right in here before you leave the station. So you load up on buy stops in this window, and as it comes up here, you're cashing out all the way up. Just like here, now you can put a trailing buy stop in here. As it keeps pulling back... You could drop another stop instead of buying another at the market. Realizing every time you drop one, that's your risk. And if these are 15-minute scripts, which they could be, um, it really could be a 15-minute script, right? And you're just going to have to keep dropping it more often because it's going to keep disappearing. But this way, what you're doing is you're kind of doing a... Uh, um, you're hedging your entry on a time basis, and you're kind of, it's like a volley. Buy a stop, buy a limit. They don't fill that. They fill the limit, take off the stop. Uh, if you only want to be in XK, then let the market come to you. Let it prove you're right. It comes to your limit. Oh, you're filled. Look at that. Oh, it could retest. Oh, I'm going to build a position on, on drops. Um, you know, this is like you're drawing, you know, and you just draw, 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 draw. Four hours later, you got a painting. So I think that's the, the, the best way to approach it from the, see, I'm up two bucks here. Now they're going to come after my stops. So I'll put a buy stop here. A buy stop, this is a very volatile pair of the euro versus the, uh, so I'll put a, another buy there to make 18. So I'm building a, uh, a position while it's, while it's in this phase of up and down, up and down, and, and living in this box here. So this is the new box to break. Looks like we're crushing down. So if I'm still bullish, I'm going to put a buy stop above, and I'll put a buy limit way down here. I've already got these stacked up. I'm not sure if i got to fill on that. I'll put a buy stop here. So it's five pip stops, right? Very close to the market. Okay, now I'm down about uh, two bucks, I think, here. Yeah, three bucks. I picked up some more margin, though. I went from 106 to 114 of margin. That matters, too. So there has to be some resolution to this hemming and hawing here. So wouldn't you know it, 
we're stuck inside the range, inside the range, the fractal inside the fractal. If we count closing prices only, we have a box within the box now. How is this going to resolve? Are we going to tank? Are the sellers freaking out? Are they having to cover? Okay, so if we if we go gusting up here into the top of the hour, and there's news coming out probably 8.30 or something. By 8.30, we could be zooming north. If we can breach this price here, the high of the day here, by the top of the hour, then it may be just a complete trend day all the way up, drift up. Uh, certainly be wanting to cash out if you bought very low, and you just had to determine, well, is that how much money I'm trying to make, and just tap out and just start, start your drinking uh, regimen. Here, another pullback to here again. So they trapped that buy stop. I just picked up some more margin on that buy stop. See how easy it is to get into a lot of K here just by hand dropping singles. What else you got? What else are you gonna do? Now here's gonna take a little more risk. Only gonna make 11 pips, seven. And the five pip stop may be too wide for you. Okay, look at this pull back into here again. So if they if they blow that out and crush, about it's about an hour. I've been doing this video for an hour, so some of this stuff's deleted apparently. Let's hope, right? And how much? Um, and then you got to have these ones that only make like three pips and four pips to pay for the punishment of all this up and down bullshit. So say you've got an order down here. And all it does is it gets in here and it gets out here with a stop here. Imagine you have an order that has a stop here, and here's and here's a good ratio, and you just keep plunking it in there and it keeps cashing out, or you're cashing out with your take all profits key because you can see you've reached the top of the range. Get out, in, out, in, out, and this is all happening on the one-minute chart, and it looks like nothing on the four-hour chart. It literally just a candle straight up. Four hour candle looks kind of awkward there, you know, it's just straight up. And look at it pull back again. More fills. I'm taking on more. Now I'm now I'm underwater. Now 15 bucks. But I'm putting on bigger positions with tighter stops now. I have some seven pip stops in there. Okay, they just stop hunted this zone. And that could be the it could be the end of the move. It could just drift, it could melt down it. At the end of the day, it can melt up, melt down, drift up, drift down. Is that the final stop hunt inside this box? How long is this going to hem and haw and torture anybody that's looking for it to continue north? Or torture anybody that's sold up here and they're going, when is this going to tank? The agony, the ecstasy of trading. When is it going to tank and when is it going to stop tanking? Okay, here's a good fill maybe. Now, see, I'd buy at the market there. If I miss my uh, buy limit entry, I'd buy at the market here. I just buy one here at the market. Okay, these are one case. So I'm, I'm two dollars per trigger pull. Pulled out. That's uh, two dollars margin. So we're sitting here uh, down about uh, sixteen dollars in the account. I've got stopped out of some. Okay, top of the hour is coming. Let's see what happens. I just wrote a script here that's going to risk two pips to make five pips, and it lasts for an hour. So I'm putting the buy stop, I'm putting that above here. The, I'm blocking off this, I'm putting a buy stop, this would be a confirmation on entry as soon as it goes up. And I'm going to bracket on the bottom by limits. So we don't need to trade the market, we just got filled on that, for God's sakes, right? So if we didn't buy down here, here comes the top of the hour. So we expect drama now, top of the hour. Because that might have just cashed out on that five pip winner. The five pip, pip cash out is up here on these these turquoise colors. Okay, now they're going to come back and maybe fill these buys. Very violent top of the hour here. We could smash down here. Two pip stops. So that's already gotten stopped out maybe. Anytime you trade like this, okay, now, so I'm risking 
30 cents per drop here to make 40 cents. This adds up. I mean, you, you may laugh, but I'm not risking very much, am I? Commissions are very small on those tickets because commissions are based on the size of the ticket. It's not you're not paying commissions per drop. It's it's based on the standard lot. Standard lot diffused by all this one case. So there's no commissions added on to that. So this is very low risk trading. I mean, low risk per drop, 30 cents. Do you have 30 cents in your account? You can you can make you could take a ten dollar account and trade with a two pip stop. I'm not saying you won't get stopped out. And you determine your total risk for the day. Maybe uh, you could drop about twenty of these, and you're risking two bucks, maybe three bucks. But twenty drops. Who doesn't want to make scratch and win? Don't forget the scratch and win girl. Baby wants to play scratch and win. I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up, bro. Scratch and win. I could put sell stops in up here to make two pips. This may be too greedy, two to make five. The ratio, because I put the spread in there, so it's really going to be three to make four. So it's worse than it looks. That's why people lose scalping. It, 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 it seems like you would, oh, I put two pips stop. Yeah, but the spread's a half a pip. and So, but getting that great fill, I'm trading the one-minute uh, chart in a range of nine pips, maybe. Look at all the buys and sells in here. If I place hand single drop sells here and buy limits here, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. I know where the I know where the top's at. I like the guy that says you can't pick the top in the market. You don't have a choice if you're selling. <laughs> Trade with the trend. So if you kept placing orders and plunking them in this window here, and you sell there and it comes back and you buy and you sell 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 until that doesn't work anymore, and then bam. Here I'm now I'm in a huge position. Low risk, I think. I'm $172, so I'm in, um, what is that like? Uh, fuck, I don't know. Okay, so I just picked up, I just got filled on my buy stops with the two pip. Now I'm in almost a uh, standard lot. Almost a standard lot now. I'm down $10. And um, that was a lot of work. So my hand's a little sore. Right, I'm gonna soak. All right, get some palm olive, and uh, have Madge come over tonight. I had a buddy that used to think that this uh, lady Maud. There was a show called Maud, and he thought Maud was hot. And I'm like, oh, I get it. You're an ugly chaser. Um. Okay, so they're stopping me out with my five, my two pip stops. I just lost twenty cents. Damn it! That added up, that added up because that was a lot of drops. So another another attempt to put a buy stop in there. Get back into my big Gonzo. So I'm down fifteen dollars. So how could you lose with all these tight stops? How could I be losing so much money? I guess I needed to put a sell up here. At the moment, I'm, I'm I'm geared long. Now, if it goes back up through that, okay, this doesn't look like this is going to work out here. It looks like the euro's going through the floor. So I'll put my I'll put my order over here, and we're all the way back to this range again. This looks like they're going to go through the floor here. So your monster drops coming in. Now I picked up. Now I'm back to 170 margin, down 40 bucks. Okay. Still waiting for the top of the hour. I got one minute left. Big crush down, spike probably. Here comes the. Um, oh, they just stopped me out. Uh, two pips stop. Here, big smash down here. 
big fill. Okay, I still have buy stops to fill up here though, right? So if I didn't buy enough down there, now I can rebuy again. Uh oh, something's going on here. Everybody's getting frisky. Yeah, top of the hour. Okay, so that was this. That was just that. Just before the top of the hour. That's a brutal. Okay, so I'm kind of back in the same size. We're gonna make five pips here. I'm gonna buy here. Two pips is a st tight stop, I think. I'm just. Okay, I'm gonna go for the big five pip stop. High risk trade. Five pip stop. One minute chart, mind you, but it's good to practice uh, trading, I think. It's good to play scales. Hey, just break out a demo. See how see how good your trading is. Hey, people do IQ tests, I think. Okay, so if I ran these two rates, I'm in two to make five and five to make eighteen. That's if all I just would run these all day long. And it's just constant drops going on there. The market's constantly changing too, so if it's not going down anymore, I would stack the buy stops up above here with the two pip stop. If I think it's gonna drop more, I'm gonna put buy orders on the five yard line with a two pip stop. Looks like I'm gonna punish that euro before they take it up. Now it's dropped, I'll put it by a stop trailing above the one minute. I'll put my five to make 18 in. Go over seven to make 11, eight to make 12. Now that I'm stacking these up at the same price, they have different exits. Same thing here, we have a fractal, down fractal, so we put order uh, right on above that. 13 to make 18. So we have to be able to survive the ruckus that comes along. Okay, we got uh, three minutes left, and the five minute traders are going to jump aboard. So we're breaking out of this box to the downside here. The sellers that sold up here, maybe they're going to take profits. Okay, so we can see here on the. Here's what's going on now. We if we put it, if we put a buy stop here, and then we don't put our next order till down here, or put a cluster in. Those other ones have already deleted themselves. So we cluster in down here, and just stack them up, man. This is trading. It's a real. It's it's a, it's a total bore. Here's you got the two pip stop down here. Put a five pip to make eighteen. Put that order down here. And this lasts for an hour. How much damage can you do to the account? Now you may put orders in so deep that never fill, and then you're gonna say, "God, I gotta trade the market, man." They're not okay. Maybe you do every half hour. It's down. You buy one at the market because it's down. It's pullback. But I, I wouldn't commit my whole trade plan to. Trading on the clock, I mean, if you trade every hour, right? This now here, look at this big sweeping pullback into now. If they're tramping below here, I'm going to put buy stops above and buy limits deep for a big stop hunt all the way back to possible. We might stop out this wick and we might come all the way down in like a zipper coming down here. Here's the two pips to make five. Here's the five to make 18. Here's the two to make five on the way back out. If this is just nothing but a uh, another range trade where people are coming at the bottom and buying. It goes on and on forever, it seems like. This seems to go on forever if you're in either side of this market in a big position. Now, for the scalper's point of view, they're like, hey, you know what? So now I'm in the biggest amount of margin ever. Almost in the standard lot right now. I'm down um, like 40 bucks. 
hope I'm not over trading it. Um, so here's where we stand. Now we don't touch it. As soon as you get in this much margin, you cannot touch it, in my opinion, because if this is your max amount of margin uses, for not to mention you got pendings above you that have not filled yet, but they have very tight stops. So if we bust out of there like a zipper, otherwise you're going to have to come in, and now you got to open up the platform and delete them because you can't even find those orders in there. Take out the buy stops. If we don't go up there in an hour, those will be gone. Now, they could be 15-minute buy stops. And ideally, you're trading a 15-minute buy stop if you're really trying to reduce your risk. And you're only going to expose yourself to maybe $10 an hour risk. If you're trying to make $20 an hour, $10 an hour means you've got every 15 minutes you're dropping $10 of risk. Those delete, those delete themselves. You come in back and do it again. Come back and do it again. Come back and do it again. It's, it's, it's just basically that simple. You just have to keep doing the same thing over and over. So here I put a buy stop on top of this fractal now. In case it comes roaring back. So this is a... a that's a... Right, we have a fractal. We have a, we have a, a peak. And I'm already pretty deep into this trade. I don't know if anything cashed out. I think it might get stopped out of something. I'm getting stopped out of the uh, uh, euro dollar. So the, the euro yen's the yen's getting killed, and the euro the dollar is killing the euro. So there's no sink here, and I'm just trading the price. Um, I'm just trading the price. Now this may play catch up. This may come back to the floor, and uh, this may engulf to the middle of the road again. So possible targets are going to be, well, I'll come back to fair value where all this controversy was. Um, or it's going to plunge all the way and retest this node, and we could have buy limits that ricochet off there. We could have big, a big, deep uh, scalp bank laid in here like this. We just keep putting these guys in. And maybe some of these last for eight hours. Actually, we do eight-hour drops. Keep track of the eight hour drops because it's eight hours you're exposing yourself to the risk for eight hours. So it's risk over time is what is that what does that employee cost you basically? What does it cost to hire somebody to help you to to um, rape your wife or whatever it is that you're doing? You, whatever's on your lit checklist for the day. And um, yeah, you know, the pool guy, right? And typically, I I choose the pool man. Uh, hey, could you rape my wife? She's bored. Um, Okay, here, possible, we're going to get triggered on this fractal now. So I put all those buy stops in there. We just picked up some margin. Now we're in about standard lot again. So this is your limit. Now we just picked up another ticket. So if we go north, we we have a bunch of pending orders there. Well, we may even get in like a one and a half standard lot. So as soon as we go north, we might get picked up on all those tickets there. News is coming out at the bottom of the hour. Um, maybe we go zooming up. Maybe we go smashing down. I don't know what the news is. Um, I don't seem to be too much news today. Oh, core uh, durable goods for the United States. And um, I don't know what this is going to do with the yen, but I don't know. I'm in the, I'm in the euro yen. And then we have... Uh, at 12 o'clock, Yellen's going to talk, so I don't know if this is... We might get a pop here on the euro dollar pops up, and then um, durable goods, uh, core durable goods orders. Hmm. Hopefully we pop above the high of the day before the news comes out. And then maybe we do slam down, right, because the news is just brutal and it's just a big, uh, you know, goes up, news comes out, Go smashing down. Hopefully, we'll be out of this trade by then. We'll let it play out. So, we've got news in 20 minutes. The durable goods and the core durable goods, whatever it is, Kiss came out. So, we bought this pullback on limits. And um, I'm getting filled on stops right now that were way above there. I still have a bunch of stops to fill here. So, this is the old. Uh, I would never do this trade, but this is that kind of like takes it out like a zipper as it goes north. So the more it goes up, the more it keeps auto-adding 
because I never deleted those stops. Uh, now here there's not too much left to, there's a couple of cell limits up here. That's it. We're looking for the euro, we're looking for the uh, yen, the dollar, we're looking for the yen to sell off against all the other currencies here. So I just went long on another uh, system, another uh, strategy here. This is a buy stop entry. So if you drill down on this, you can see how this ticket's constructed. It buys a 10K in single 1Ks with a hard stop. Every time I press this button, it's going to put buy stops in at one. And this is all the cash outs are all different on each ticket in the 10K. This last one's set about a few pips deeper. Amazingly, it comes right to the round number. Just by happenstance there. And that's how that rolls. That is the... Um, uh, this is a TradeWise account. So that's how that rolls. That is the... Uh, so this is the yen. And that is the script. That's all that's in this account right now is this one script. So it's kind of a objective view of how that plays out. And you can see I'm only down $7, and I'm in uh, quite a bit. I haven't got filled on some of these because I dropped them earlier. I just got double-clicked. This is a four-hour script, mind you. I kept double-clicking that. Now, at some point, you'd have to stop clicking that because you're going to be overfilled. And overfilled and underfunded is not a good combo plate. Okay, so that is that. And so we're just waiting for some type of um, rally in that. It takes out the high of the week, which we haven't done yet on this currency. We did it on the euro to the yen. And I think we took out the dollar to the yen, maybe. So who's who's cutting? Now this, we're looking for a rally here um, as the euro goes up. Cut north there, and 110 is going to be the obvious exit, but we're cashing out all along the way there. So we're at 140, we're at uh, 4,094 on this account right now. So 4,000, yeah, here we go. So we're up 80 cents, look at that. So we'll just say 49, 49.40 uh, 40 right now. Getting filled on a buy stop strategy. Hard stop entry, hard stop exit. All the stops are stacked up down here. Connected to this um, this entry. Here's the best fill of the uh, the sequence of that. And here are the take profits off of that. So as it's dropping down, as it's kind of quieting down there and simmering down, then you're putting in these orders. And, and that's how you would let that fill. Of course, here I just did it because I'm like, well, look at the, I was basically putting them on the 15 minute, right? The buy stops are on the 15, but it doesn't really matter, right? Because if it's going to keep going up on the one hour, they're good, right? We're really trading like a goober entry. This is the high of the day. The Now we haven't taken out the high of the day or the high of the week yet. There was an attempt yesterday or last night, there was a big burst. There was a big, big burst rally. Now maybe we finally get uh, follow through the round number here. So the euro, euro to the yen stalling out now. It's kind of giving up a little bit of... And here we're down 22 because we're in very bigly on this trade. We could still get stopped out or stops about oh, 5, maybe 10 pips deep on that. Maybe about 10 pips stop on that. So this is hard, hard coded into the script. It's a double click or a dra drag and drop. Still waiting for the stock market to open. Okay, it's a 15 pip stop. And these are all the tick profits along the way. Alrighty then. So you can write anything you want. You can write it so it gets in on a soft stop. Every five pips it's buying on a stop. You can set it so it's got a soft stop on the risk. You could have a hard take profit. You could have a soft stop and a hard take profit. You could have anything you want, really. 
ideally you have a blend of stuff to cover all the little things that can happen. So here you have uh, scalps built into this, hopefully. I'm, drop I'm throwing the kitchen sink now. I'm just going to run all these scripts. It's like eight grand on the account. Let's see if we can blow it up here. That's eight hours, though. I don't think we'll ever see that trade. Maybe we'll see that trade in the next uh, three hours. Plunge down here, retrace before the news comes out. Now we're looking for the yen to get crushed by the euro and the dollar. So I'm up three bucks now. We blow out the top here. We blow out the top here. See how much follow through we get and decide when we want to take profits. If we, uh, if by the time the stock market's opening, we're just roaring through there and the stock's open and then we could cash out when stock's open because we could get a reversal. There could be a buyer's remorse come in. So that could happen too. All these different scenarios, right? How much, how much is your target? Um, I'd say the high of the day, we had to take out the high of the day here, but it may not happen. We could just fizzle now. So we're backing up. We're not getting follow through now. So maybe that's maybe that's trade's done. Maybe it's 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 toast. Kind of got to hit hit it here. We got to hit the accelerator here because um, time's running out. Here's the five minute. So the fifteen, it's still a pullback. Looks just like the half hour. The five minute, we see. Um, our first place we could put a buy stop in here on the top of this fractal. So if we're not going to go down, um, this is the bottom that's supposed to become a top on the five. People trend trading that are going to sell here. And if they put their stops here, they'll just fuel. If this cuts back through, it'll fuel it. The five minute euro. Take a look at the five minute euro. Double bottom on the five minute euro. So we fell out of this channel here. This is a uh, fall into the void. You're either selling, you got your five pip and your three pips. This is a five pip grid. You can't really see the grid now with all these orders, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so buy stops will be triggered here. We're already in. Maybe we buy a couple at the market from the scalp. Here's my buy stops, which are pretty, pretty far away. It's uh, that's your classic kind of buy stop. That's not too close. These are three pips away. Okay, we get picked up in the stream. Here's another three pip breakout stops. And uh, nice. Just gotta wait. Top of the hour. Hopefully, we can get back to here. Um. This would be the hope and the hope of the bulls is that you get back to at least here where the sellers should come in at this place. Go to here and then, or it's going to be, and then we're going to start cleaning house here. Now, all the orders that you placed here for the retest entry, you probably scalped to here by now. Um, we didn't get, we didn't pull back to this top, but we fell in the hole here, so you maybe scalped to here at this point. So there's got to be a scalp trade in there somewhere to pay for the drama. So here I'm down five bucks. I can't tell if I've cashed out. Okay, $130 margin. I'll put another buy stop in. So we add to a loser. Go to five minute. Okay. So it's got to take out this and keep going north. It's a break out of a... Uh, Looks like a three pip range there on the five minute. I could just condense that a little bit. So five minute to the five minute. Um, if no sellers come in, buy the sellers have to cover their shorts. Put pants on. And here's all my streaming. This trade plan is only designed for this one move of uh, 30 pips about. Actually, I'm getting in 
first profits 10 pips all the way out to, uh, I think, 30. Yeah, 30 pips, 26 pips in that last ticket. Then there's a there's a, a hole, and then it hits that last last uh, order. Okay, they, so right at the flirting with trapping me here too. Um, my stop is down here, 15 pips, very high risk. You could write it any way you want. You could have a soft stop, and every one of these has a different stop along the way. And here you just uh, change the stop. Okay, this is the. Uh, here's the yen. Banging up against the ceiling here. Keep putting stops in. Probably put in about, oh God, 100K by, by now sitting here pending. Okay, I guess I just got in too tight with that one. Oh, I forgot this broker's got a limit. <laughs> Lucky for me. Yeah, that's, uh, so that's the max amount of orders you can put in trade-wise. They don't give you a lot of, so they don't give you a lot of they don't give you a lot of tickets to put in there. Okay, so wait for this thing to kind of like congeal here. It's kind of iffy. I don't see any big panic move off that news. Not not very big news. Um, I guess we're all waiting for this. Yelling stuff or whatever the fuck. That's at noon. So three hours of nothing. Stocks open. Stocks will definitely be the thing that might get us over the rails here. Take out the high of the day on something. Long way from taking out the high of the day on this guy. Of course, this is be the scalping zone right in here. We pull back to this zone here. So it's a long day. Uh, you still have. Um, some bozo's going to speak at, uh, Draghi's going to speak at 3 p.m. Six hours from that. If anybody else to stick around for that. I think if this thing goes, uh, when the stocks come out, if there's a big move, I think I'd probably cash out unless it's just some amazing 50 pip smash, and then I guess I'd hang in there for another 10 pips. I don't know. I don't really like to be in the market. I like to make money, but I don't really like being in trades. So I'm at quite a bit of margin here. I'm six hundred dollars now. I'm at uh, three standard lots. I'm down like a um, hundred and oh gosh, from all those twenty pip stops, I'm down a hundred and two hundred two hundred bucks, one hundred fifty bucks down. Yeah, so that's um, still still getting pullback on the euro. Coming into my uh, my buy limits, I think. Yeah. Should be. I put a bunch of in I put a bunch of in here like this. Eight hours. Just buy this whole pullback. Okay, one last smash back on that. I think I picked up one little ticket. So the ratio here is trying to make sixty pips here with a thirty pip stop on a on a ten pip zone. Buying every pip for Nine pip box, 10k. I can put orders down here, super deep in case there's a big smash to hell. Okay, and you can just do the rest there. That's going to cost you um, twenty dollars for each one of these drops. If you got twenty bucks, you can do it. Okay, I'm still waiting for the top of the hour. Another moment of truth. Um, Looks like the euro yen's running out of gas. We could come down again. We haven't got our maybe we haven't got our pullback yet. I could we could spike it right now. So if we could spike it, I'm gonna anticipate the spike here. Put my spike strip in. This will make 30 pips. This will make 40. This will make 60. Okay, there's another. Uh, so you can put about thousand dollars of risk in here, real easy. Just write down every order you put in, that's all. Every time you drop, I get the dollar amount listed. Okay, now we're going to sit tight. Let's see what happens. Still waiting for the stocks to open in 40 minutes. That'll be when we really get bring the hammer down. That'll be the judge. Here comes the judge. 
And we've still got these terrible buy stops pending up here. So we'd actually add on to this and be in about four standard lots. If we go if we go north, we'll pick up those tickets. We're getting a move here on the yen. We're in uh, about every ticket that I placed, we're in. So I think I'm in, let's just say, a standard lot. So we should be cashing out as we break out the high of the day and the high of the week. Um, I can't see it because i, I, I got to kill that script. So I have to freeze the platform there. Ran out of tickets. So let me, if I hit this, if I click on this chart on this broker, it's probably going to uh, hourglass and fade on me. Broker not responding, but I'm in. I'm at 49.26, some little underwater. We have to get follow through here. Take out these wicks. So we're in before this breakout, we're in before this breakout, and we'll be cashing out uh, first cash outs here. And just like a zipper, all the way up, each 10K has its own unique, based on when I double clicked it or dragged and dropped it. You could have drag and drop it too. Either way, I don't know if drag and drop is, yeah, it's still gonna, it's still gonna, I, I ran out of tickets available here. Okay, so in the, uh, the Euro, uh, What's the euro doing? Now, let's take a look here. Okay, euro's coming back to life a little bit. Okay, look to look at the. Uh, go back to the other guy. Okay, this is at uh, forty nine, forty six. We're up six bucks on that trade. Waiting for it to play out. Down 15 now. They're killing us. Trapped on that top ticket. So it's very dangerous to buy like this. But, you know, hey, um, it's also dangerous to sell like this because what if it goes up? It's always dangerous to trade. Trading's risky. It may involve frustration, anger, and kicking your dog. They should have a Forex dog outfit. Like, Kevlar for your dog. I'm gonna kick that dog. Come here, you. Okay, huge sell, huge pullback in the euro. Uh, so here's the uh, good old fashioned yen. Still gotta clear the trees here without stopping out my stops. Let's turn on my stop colors. You can see them. Go for uh, medium sea green. So those might take profits. These are my stops. Buying on the blacks. We're not. We haven't taken our first profit yet. Okay, we're waiting. Waiting to break. Break above this uh, sell point where the sellers came in on the five. Waiting for it to break above this place. This is the uh, bottom becomes a top on the five. And the sellers came in there and they pulled it down. Okay, Taffy pull now. Down 26, waiting for the top of the hour should be the nail in the coffin. And set us into a uh, time, the tick, ticking time bomb into the stocks opening. Maybe the market's going to inch its way towards the borderline of the resistance and support areas into the stocks open. And then it's off to the races, and then you've got kind of like, here comes the cash market, here comes people. If Yellen's going to speak, and Draghi's going to speak, and all these bozos are going to speak, um, and we have a void above us, maybe we're going to spill into that. There's no guarantees. Don't do what I'm doing. And... Uh, just trade a demo, like, you know, as much as you can. Some guy said, stay on demo. I remember the guy was uh, criticizing me way back. Stay on demo, man. Stay Like, only real men trade uh, real money. This bullshit. 
Okay, great guy. You know, I got I I just bought a um inflatable dowel so I don't fuck up socks. Right? Um cuz I'm pra- I don't want to I want to rehearse so when I show up on my date, chick's not like what are you doing now? Trust me, I tested this in a demo. Of course, there's not the uh, ego involved in a inflatable dowel because you really can't insult it. Real money. Now, that's where the, right, the real feelings come up. But maybe you have real feelings for your inflatable dowel. There's no telling, right? Your demo dowel. Yeah, demo fuck. Because you don't want to perform bad. It's just the date. This is the perfect girl, right? You waited so long, and it's like, babe, I got this one. Don't worry. What do you mean, don't worry? I've been practicing. Let me inter- introduce you to Zelda. Um, okay, don't, don't. She's she's fragile. Don't, don't uh, come at with a hairpin. I had to take the hairpins out of that fucking thing. Wow, well, that was brutal. So. But they got real dolls now. They got ten thousand um, dollar demo dolls, demo babes. Okay, so I'm up, uh, I'm up, 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 I'm up a dollar. Look at this, killing it. Okay, top of the hour's coming. Let's see what happens. Okay, we gotta have the sellers gotta come in here again, and they gotta pull it down. And if they and if they put stops on that cell for here, there's stops here, right? This would fuel it the other way if they're wrong. Okay, top of the hour, and um, I'm up thirty dollars here. This has to go like a zipper here now, uh, straight up. Half hour till stocks open. Um, and uh, the hunt is on here. We need to start cashing out of stuff. So I'm up, but I haven't got out of anything. As soon as we get out of enough of these tickets, even if it comes back and stops me out, I'll make money on the whole series, right? Now, I could take my stops and trail them behind. I can grab on here and move these guys up, or I can stick with the original plan, and maybe I could have run tighter stops. So after we trade that plan, the sellers are coming in here again at this line. We would buy here. Sellers are coming in here because it's it's high. On the uh, euro, we, we're just flatlining here. We could put buy stops above and buy limits below and bracket that if we want to go long. This is the one that would have to lead the lead the way. If we take out these highs, I expect the euro yen to follow the dollar yen into the northern abyss. But for the mo- for for right now, it's just we're having a hung underneath this threshold. Um, how successful was that sell for these guys? Are we going to range out here until stocks open and then blast either way? The market loves the range. I never met a market that didn't love a range, and here was the big stop hunt down here. Big buying opportunity to get in this uh, this hall back here. Always a killer entry right down there. It's a terrible color. Right in this right in this hall. I'm just gonna paint it black. I'm going to go with the Rolling, Rolling Stones uh, effect, paint it black. So you got to figure there's stops here. People have buy stops here, and people have protection there. Here's the, the vacuum above. Here's the vacuum below. This is the vacuum we just filled. Paint it black. We have a hole here. It's on a tightrope, getting closer and closer. We've got these. So we'll we'll have to, we may be out of about uh, 20% of the position by here. 80% to roll to the round number. 
Today's big giant trade plan. Right. Our big trade plan. Right. This is your top. So you can just put a doji, you can put a big crayon marker on your dojis. Go for a, ba a bash. There's your dojis. Okay, here's the floor. I've got to keep selling. I've got to keep coming off that and drop back to here. That was the top before the bottom, just before we left the station. Right, right here was the big drop. Okay, we're up $2.80. Give me some of that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we're trapped below this. We can put buy stops on this fractal. Five minute chart. And this is going to wrap up here in 45 seconds. This five minute chart is going to update. Okay, so that's going to see that through. And then uh, can the sellers hold it underneath here is the question. Right there. So this is the uh, bottom becomes the top of the five minute. That is the pivot. That's the middle of this whole range. Sitting in that range. This is the uh, bottom that became a top. Sellers came in. They're looking for it to plunge down to hell. So their dream is it's going to come on in here and start crushing all the way to here. And we would buy on that limits to, to trade on the way back. Here you could buy at the market on the clock because it's down. If you, if you think it's going up, this is a chance to buy five minutes after. And an attempt to reject this floor, cut back up into here, cut to here, cut to here. And so it's going to be a, a jagged ride up. No doubt it's not going to go in straight lines. So a lot of these speculations that people make are just so linear. It's ridiculous. Like stuff like this is going to go up. Okay, it's going to go up, but it's going to come back. That's going to go up. Buy stop on this. Buy stop here. Now here's a, a a confirmation entry. Buy stops here. Buy limits down here again. Cluster of buy limits sitting here in a cluster pack here. To scalp for the five, for the here, for the there, to here. And here once again, same thing. You have uh, uh, very tight range now. So something's got to give here. We're flagging out. Something's got to give here. Always in the process of something's got to give. Um, that was the Doji retest entry. Uh, people have stops here, but we would always buy those. Uh oh, big sell off here. Drip, driven down. Okay, buyers came in here as a triple bottom. If you're loading up on trigger pulls here, and you're long on the uh, limits. This is a sniper entry trigger pull. Anticipating a break of this trend line. So we're loading up. We're accumulating underneath in the basement. We're accumulating in the basement to take it upstairs and um, play around up here and then maybe go to the attic and that's where all the, we keep all the naughty toys in the attic. Toys in the attic, you know. Aerosmith, toys in the attic, man. That's where the, that's where we keep all the toys in the attic. There was a guy I was watching Forensic Files. He had this he had chicks tied up in his on on this uh, wood plank that he built. I don't understand these guys that are they got all this stuff and then they write keep diaries and all the people they tortured. Like, who's writing a diary of that? Who's emailing like their latest updates? I guess Hillary, right? She's emailing her torture. She tortures guys. I heard she hires guys and tortures them. You know, you don't hear any real scandalous stuff. All you hear is about, yeah, you know, cigars in the, in, the, in the Oval Office. You don't hear about anything really. Oh, that Pizzagate thing. That was funny. What's this pedophile stuff I keep hearing about? I haven't seen any proof of this yet. 
All you see is people with these photographs and people that typically just molest their neighbor's kid. That goes on all the time. But there's no orchestrated move here. There's no, like, please, somebody show me the Russian evidence. Somebody show me all this stuff, um, the stuff that's just clickbait, mind bait, just like zero hedge. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about the news. I don't care about TV. I don't care about the diaper commercials with two gay guys. I don't care. I'm done. Bye. The market's got plenty of fun in it. No need to step outside. Just stay inside and trade people. Okay, can we hold this line? All right. San Jacinto. Right there. Hold the line. Okay. I wonder if I make that the right color, I'll get a better fill. Does it work like that, man? What do you mean? How come I'm making money? Every time I put an order, I put the brake line here and it... Okay, we were getting filled here on buy stops. Now, this the other idea is to ultimately buy down here and cash out here, but this is also a place to get in at the market with tight stops because it's so quiet. Something's got to give. You got 20 minutes till, till the stock's open. So if we can bid it up to here, buy stocks open, pull back to here, and then maybe zoom. We know sellers are coming in here. Okay, another five minutes is ticking by. We have a triple top. We have a wedge. How will it resolve itself? We have a box. Okay. That's that pattern. I call this the... Uh, the arrow, the arrowhead trade. Time's a ticking. The box is getting smaller. Something's got to give. Small box. Time for a stop hunt either way. Time for a spike of some type. Anticipating a spike. Some type of psychosis. How is the dollar yen doing? Let's do a little update on dollar yen. Holy shit, it's up 13 bucks. Okay, still no cash outs. Just about to cash out now. Just about to take out the high of the week. Okay. Which gives a fuel for this. This is just not getting it done. It's a sleeper cell. Here I'll put in the uh, backup plan is to buy way, way down deep, major peppering for eight hours. This broker could take it, man. This Animant, they could fucking take like a mess. Like I say, if you trade an Animant, get out at the uh, close of the session, or they will kill you. Not on the not on the dollar yen, but on the euro yen. It was I've seen the Australian dollar just uh, this brutal. It looks like the news came out. But that's not unusual, right? It's not. It's a TomJonesFX.com. Okay, here we go. It's still tanking. I'll buy down here. I think this could go tanky, and then this is looks like it's hell bent. We're up thirty three bucks, about to cash out on our first winner. That's right, boys and girls. I, I've loaded this thing already. You can see the construction, though. Most of my videos, I, have, I don't know, there's no global hightail link, but most of my stuff, I post to the scripts. You can yeah, get a monkey with them yourself to make them your own, uh, just like you would adjust the car seat, right? I like the, the car, The even the old Mercedes had a, uh, like a three-driver memory system for the seat. This is uh, before com real computers. It still had Radio Shack and Tandy Corporation. Of course, you know, the most expensive computer on the internet now is an Atari. That's like 40 grand for an old Atari. I mean, I just saw a book called um, um, the, uh, the book about by Dennis, somebody that man's an animal. The guy that wrote The Naked Ape. 
Uh, his book's going for two hundred and fifty dollars on eBay. I bet eBay. I'd, I'd probably eBay cheaper, but Amazon.com is selling um, uh, the man is an animal. Uh, the guy that wrote the Naked Ape. And uh, really, gosh, I guess it's out of print. Used, starting at two hundred and fifty dollars. Can't you just get the PDF of that? I like to have it in my hands like gold. I'm stacking old books. Coins are overrated. I like Bitcoin's uh, 4300 Bitcoin's bringing up 4300 on Bitcoin. Take a looky. 4333 Look at this Bitcoin. Unstoppable. Boy, if this isn't the escape from bank hell... But the guy with the D video, D, D, D tube, it's called. Dude, I'm not clicking and I'm paying to watch a fucking video. Um, some dumbass uh, video some guy has. This is not me. That, that's not going to happen. Still hemming and hawing in this range here. No resolution until stocks open. Stocks will be the final arbiter. Um, oh, down 33. Look at getting killed. So we didn't take that first scalp. We're underwater now. Trap trade. We're getting trapped. We're getting raped. I have stops pretty deep. I, I could be down uh, 300 bucks before I get stopped out of this. So how do you feel about a drawdown, right? You like gladiators? <laughs> how do you feel about a drawdown? Okay. Trying to make that big money, we're going to have to take a big risk here, people. Oh boy, down 50 bucks. Looks like a rape scene to me. Oh yeah. People saw this too high. Overpriced. Oof. Now I'm going to put. I don't think they're not going to let me. I can't put any more orders in. Now, some of. Yeah, I can't. There's Everything's filled. Apparently, that's the limit here is a standard lot. I didn't realize that. Because I just reached my total. I any other instruments trading, so this is it. Now, we're pulling back here. Retest again to this zone. The sellers did come in at that triple top. They pull it down to the bottom. Where do they buy after they sell? They cash out right there. So you can see anybody that sold off that double top, their cash out had to be here. And then it's the revolving door. People go along here, and we're starting to get a break out here. Now we're looking for the panic to ensue because stocks are about to open. People are positioning before stocks open. People are clearing their positions or they're getting into stuff. There's a lot of volatility here coming into the opening of the last day of the week. Down 115 here. Brutal. Brutal drawdown, no stop out. Can you handle being down 115 bucks? Now, if your account only has 200 in it, You'd be white knuckling that trade. Not to say you couldn't make a ton of money today on that trade. So the balance was just around five grand on this account. Forty nine. No, no cash outs yet. And I can't add because I'm in my maximum amount of positions according to the broker, standard lot only. Okay. See if I can scooch this over. Can't really see the uh, other. I can't see the euro. Okay, euro's making money. And all those bad stops are filling now up there. Okay, so we're down $180 on that. Big stop hunt here. Possible uh, sell off here. Oh, they're about to stop me out. Look at that. If they stop me out, I could put another, um, put another buy and order bank in there. That's why I said this is a terrible trade. Uh, this is a 10 pip grid, though, so that makes sense, right? $200. Stay a lot. Okay, this is all the monkeying, jockeying for position. Euro is strong. Yen is killing the dollar and it's killing the euro. Waiting for sellers to come in here at this doji. Scalp off of that. Filled on buy limits, sellers have made their money, and sellers here also, you can't see it in here, but 
And here's my stops about to get stopped out. Now, had I paced myself and, and only pulled that trigger, I pulled that trigger pretty hard. Like, I just loaded up on that trade. On that one, I, even though I got different price entries, now I'm down 180. Even though I got different price entries. Okay, so we're making it up on the euro here. Now, if this comes up, I expect that um, if I go to the five minute here, if this starts to um, come back up into here, and then this guy goes up, this guy all go in concert. I should probably be cashing out of this if I wanted to make a certain amount of. If it, this is my exit. I just hit the take all profits on this one symbol. All right, so I could cash this out, take all these winners off of this because we're right at the sell line at the seller's window. Okay, dump that. Bank, bank whatever that was. And now we're looking for this. Still cashing out of that. All 1Ks. We're looking for this to stabilize and go up, and then the, this guy to follow. This pulls back a little bit. Maybe this goes up. And this being, you know, like a hybrid. Still cashing out of this uh, euro here. So reducing the exposure. There's still a couple tickets. Okay, so totally flat. You know, not flat, but we're out of that. We still have some bad entries here. Right in the middle of the road. Those are not the best uh, prices to get in. Five minutes has gone by. Um, or Ten minutes, we're down in here. Um, can't touch that trade. Down 100, only down 150 now. Okay, so we're looking for some type of pullback in the dollar yen and the, and the euro yen to go up a little bit. Still hemming and hawing here. Before stocks open, we could still crush down on the uh, the, the dollar yen could still get hit. So could the euro yen could go down another five pips and stop hunt this uh, people that put stops in here. The people that put stops in here would get hunted. Now we would buy on limits here maybe. If we come back to here, or it's just going to crush north. We're never going to get a chance. I'm going to buy uh, limits here, still pending, in these three spots. Big dense order pack, though. Freed up some margin for that trade. These would be our, our buy limit entries would start here where we're getting stopped out. So the sellers came in there. We cashed out. We kind of missed it perfectly, but got really close to that exit. These are the new uh, buy zones. On the five. This looks like they're going to stop hunt maybe down to here. Who knows how far they'll drop that down. Still still fighting to take out this trend line and get above this. So this sellers came in here like clockwork. Pull it back to here. Maybe it's a trap. This could still melt down. Down 174. To explain that to the wife. Well, it, the trade looked good. Some guy on YouTube he put the script up there and he said, "This is the this is the ultimate script." Yeah, trading is just too trading is too personal to have the ultimate script. Still pulling back on euro, yeah. I think we might actually dip down here and stop hunt this, or we're just we're done. It's over. I think we still got to stop. We got to come cave into this area here. Stop this out before we see our money. So we meant never get the fill here. I mean, met never get this thing to take out the other day. So close to getting filled on orders down here. I'd be buying in that. Or I'm getting stopped out down 207. You could buy here. What if I stop here, maybe? Okay, they're going to they're gonna dip it into here. We could buy on stops above this now. As it comes dipping down here, we could place buy stops above, maybe. So a big, a big failure of this to clean that out. 240 down. So we lose 500 on this, I guess. 
right, fit one. We should lose uh, three hundred dollars on this trade if we're wrong, because it's a uh, standard lot, fifteen pips times. That's how much we'd lose if we're wrong. Right. <laughs> Pretty much right. Um, right to the edge now. The buyers. We suspect the buyers are coming in here, right at the edge. Like I said, we could come all the way back to here. And then just fizzle, nothing happens. Never take this out. This is the new downtrend. The channel is projected to go down here. This is cutting north. And what is it doing to our trade here? Did they stop me out of that? I can't tell. Let me see. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to put another order bank in because I can't. So they stopped me out of um, something. They just nicked my ticket down here at the bottom. At the bottom rung, here they're dipping back and stopping out. So if you draw a channel here, you expect this would be your um, target for the shorts is right along here. Put you about right here. And this has to engulf. The yen has to come back. The dollar yen has to come back to life. This would be your limit order entry for the trap. That's the bear trap. So now we can take a look at the. This one, I added one more order here. So this is the, you could have run the same sell, I had the same uh, sell stop running, but see the tar tra pop, the targets are too greedy. This is only a five, this is only a 10 pip drop, so you'd have to have all those orders compressed and to just shear that off. And that trade works, right? If you put in sell stops here at 10K, and it's gonna get out every two pips, it'll be out of the whole bank in uh, whatever pips that adds up to. And, uh, so this was a good breakout of this if you're trying to make five pips, ten pips now. Now this, if this goes up, we could feel the uh, a possible engulf here. And if you bought right down at the bottom here, which I think I cashed out, so I don't know, I'm not paying attention. But you could have bought this wick to here to guaranteed fill because the spread is uh, half a pip, so you guarantee the fill there. And all the pressure was building up in this void. People are going to... Now, this is the contention. Is this going to be where the sellers come in? Can they hold it back? Can the sellers hold this line? This is the, the big pivot of the day. Can we hold that? Uh, that's the question. I'm here, we're looking to... We've got to hold this range here. This has to be a breakout that continues down to here for the bulls to make money. Otherwise, they're, they broke, they traded a breakout on the 15 and they're trapped. Just like this trap here. And anybody that bought this is trapped for right now. This thing has to continue or they're going to get um, smashed back into the ground. That's how it goes. Okay, buyer's got to come in here on the five. Pull it back into the floor. Dilly dally around here. Right. And then blow through or dilly dally here and then keep tanking for the rest of the day. Depending what stocks do when they open. Stocks will be the final thing and then we have the an hour and a half a two hour and a half trading into the speeches and all that stuff all that all that razzmatazz that people love to uh, go to the zero hedge zero hedge so some guy was posting there's another thing we get in these tr tr trade rooms with people and uh, they're like well you know the news is so and so I'm like well I don't know I'll trade the news but like 
Is there a trade plan for the news? That'd be interesting. What does that trade plan look like? Still getting pullbacks here on. Okay, so now here comes the euro dollar pulling back. Scooch that over. Okay, so here's the full picture. So we have these three guys, um, euro yen, I mean dollar yen, uh, euro yen, and euro to dollar. So a ring around the rosy stuff here. Range trading. Um, you can range trade the five minute chart. You can sell and make money off this triple, off this pivot, and buy it back. Buy sell, buy sell. I wonder when the I wonder what the final posted the final um, move is though. That we're either distributing up here for more downward, or we're accumulating for a price pulse up. This was obviously accumulation here underneath this. Uh, five minute pivot floor we were accumulating for a burst to here now maybe the sellers come back in so it's very difficult because what is your what if you get if you're um looking for a target that is outside of all these little mini targets then you know that's tough right this is where the seller should come in now this is where they would come in here this is the double bottom we should see selling come in and tank more. Goes like this for the sell the sell story. You're just doing the next blow that could come up, the next jab to come. Or we're gonna come to here, pause and golf, and start storming north and clear out all this price because we're forming a vacuum above. There's only a few okay, here comes the stock. So this will be the final nail in the coffin. Win, lose, or draw. How does this resolve itself now? Uh, I do have a buy stop here that has not filled. So if this guy goes up, this guy goes up, this guy, he's kind of kind of trapped there in the middle of fair value now. So everybody's in a different phase, too. This guy's trapped here, fair value, and it's got a flag on the 5. This was trapped below, and this was trapped below. These guys come back to here. We come back to here, we have to reject this and cut through now. I would put a buy limit here. And I still have all those monster buy limits sitting down beneath us. Okay, so stocks are open. Let's see what happens. So we've been around the block here. We got that uh, target hit on this down channel on the five minute euro. Perfect touch um, off that channel. That was the trap below. If you bought here, you're cashing out here. This is the new pivot. Sellers are coming back in. Um, this is the new buy zone. Here was the new buy zone here. And then once again, I had to reload the buy stops here. They stopped me out. I, this is the big smash down. Big vacuum fill there. Waiting for this to resolve itself somehow. Big smash coming here, and um, this looks like it's going to go up. Uh, now maybe we go. Maybe we got enough fuel. I filled enough tickets down here. Stopped the most enough. Got enough orders here. Here there's not enough orders. Maybe I still dip down, and here you still maybe got to dip down here again. But the buyers should be coming in here. If this channel's about to end, here's the trend line. So everything happens very quickly on the five-minute chart. It's always it's, it's move to move, um, heartache to heartache. Sellers coming in here. Can they hold it? They held it here. And um, the bears are trapped below there. Are they going to have to buy it back? Is this going to take out the high? Can this fuel... And it, it can this feel feel a trend line break here and is are the buyers buying here now? So all three currencies could move up in concert right now. Um, we got to get through this pivot. We got to take out this and this has got to um, come back to here. Now if you were buying here, you had to take about five pips of heat to buy there. Okay, so we're about to break this trend line. Is any news coming out? I'm not sure. Um, there's no news till Yellen. So you have basically two hours of, of just free 
Now here, you're just starting to cash out now on these tickets. Now I didn't, now I have to add because I think I cashed out, so I'll, they're not gonna let me, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna force it to go. It should take that out and go into the other ones. That's, that's gonna crash while that loads. Sellers gotta come in here or we're doomed. The, the bears are gonna be doomed. If they can't hold this pivot, and uh, this could come down to here still. I'm trailing buy stops in the five, maybe. Let's see how the a dollar yen resolves. Give us some, give us some uh, sympathy move here on the. Okay, so I'm going to put the buy same strategy as before. Run buy stops on that. Looking for that to. Take out the high of the the week, which is still these wicks up here. We've never made it into these wicks. So that was a, a futile, um, too early of an entry. Now, this is a classic trap. You saw the punishment there. I think I lost about uh, 300 bucks on that. There is no perfect entry. There is no perfect script. Now, it's all about where you're at. Now, when that pulled back, I launched the same script on this pullback, a buy stop here. Perfect, right? It's got me into all these tickets now. I'm down about 100 bucks. I think I'm, I'm up 73 now, so I'm making it back. I didn't have to put in a standard lot, but I did. Okay, looks like this could still... Now, this is... Got to hold the sellers here at the top of the hour will be probably the uh, final arbiter. The, the the conclusion should be met here at the um, right at the uh, top of the hour. Five minutes to go. Five minute warning. Is that two minute warning? Can I watch two minute warning on the internet? That football movie where they were going to blow up. That was the first kind of domestic terrorist thing they were going to. Some guy with two-minute warning who's going to blow up the Super Bowl or something. Man, that was a great movie. So tense. And then they came to Beside Adventures. And every knockoff of that where you just hire a bunch of actors to run around screaming. Got to miss those movies. Okay. Hold, the seller's got to hold the line. Right here. And, of course, here's the trend line to break on the five. Okay, this guy's cutting north. So if we could sweep up to here, we could see this thing maybe to make it to 130 today. Big crush down here, though. So we're hedging that. Uh-oh, sellers came in. Pretty hard there for a second. Look at that. Oof. Wow, look at that. Major. Major tank. So this is the... Big excitement. Can we hold this? And this guy's cashing out, so it's making back some of its losses. Real tentative here. As you come into just the top, there's no news. Just price. Look at the limit fills down here. Lordy B. For the love of Pete. Look at those limit banks. So I placed all those in advance. And now we're looking for this to um, come to here. This guy goes up, and this takes out the high of the day as the euro comes off the floor. This is backing off. It's kind of like handed off to the next uh, country. But how do you like this uh, fill here? Pure limits. Big targets on that. I don't think there's any scalps left. I was dropping scalps earlier that lasted one hour, so those are all gone. These are eight-hour banks I put in, big scalp banks. Sellers came in here again. Go figure, right? Again. So we'd buy down here. Here is the breakout. The buyers typically come back in at the scene of the crime here, the breakout. So i see if I can put in some buy uh, stops now. Because this is the only thing I have. The only thing I'm running today here is the buy stop. So how do you play this? Um, since you, this is all you have available, how do you play it? I'm just going to load up. I just maxed it out. So every time it's coming down... Now, to sell, like I said, buying at the top of that range is the scariest thing in the world. It'd be like selling into the floor of this thing. Major trap. Right now, you're just getting crushed uh, because you sold the breakout of this uh, thing here. 
So how does this resolve is the question. So buyers should come back in here. If this is a real breakout and we could follow through, let's take a look at the, um, yeah, I don't need this stuff on here, right? Let's see if I can get the, uh, let's see if I can get the times to, let's go to the four hour. So we took out the high of the week and pulled back. So that was a scalp trade. You could have scalp banks sitting on the top of that. So the question is, can you get follow through? The only one that hasn't taken out the high is this guy. A lot of slashing around here, 10 o'clock. And uh, I don't know what 10 o'clock is a big deal, apparently. <laughs> Whether there's news or not, it's a big deal. Still, still hemming and hawing in this range now, trapped in this box. Always trapped in some kind of box, right? This is below, everything's happening here below the pivot. This has got to cut north now. This has to be the real uh, blast up for another 20 pips. Maybe take this up into here, if we can do that. We could take it up to here and hem and haw, and maybe we get a final move. I don't know. It doesn't look like there's any finality to this. It's all jockeying for position, looks like to me. Just people are trading um, just short-term price pulses, nothing really... Uh, the, the euro's getting crushed, that's for sure. Wow. Another another smash down. More orders to fill down there. Let's go to the five minute. Okay. This has got to keep going north. I put some buy stops in, getting trapped. Sellers came in off of that. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Amazing. This is the only thing that's really moving somewhere. Look at that crush. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. It's an amazing day. Look at this. Retesting that again. Just the volatility is amazing. There's a five pip window here for scalps. We just picked up all those tickets. Still gearing up for a possible rally in the uh, dollar yen. Hard to say. We're slamming around 10 pips here every five minutes. Down 15 pips in the hole on the uh, euro yen. Picked up a bunch of buy limits and seriously in big now. That account's only down 250 bucks still to this moment. Okay, I don't know. Top of the hour, this should be psychotic. So here's where we're going to bring the hammer down. Here's where you have to make a decision. Which way is it going to go? I, there's not. I, is Yellen speaking earlier or something? I'm missing something. She did that before. You know, she came out and spoke early. Look at the dollar yen. Wow. That's psycho shit, dude. Look at that. They bought the euro. They bought the euro. Look at that. I don't know. Maybe this guy's talking early. Whew. Euro yen. I mean, dollar yen. Look at that. Look at the crush. Look at this crush. Amazing. I didn't have time to put the buy stops in there. Look at this, trying to take out the high of the day here. I did, yeah. I, I don't have this. I don't have the script right in front of me here. You know, it looks like this here. So I could put the buy stops back in and, and go for another round to the upside here. So if you click that every ten seconds on a move like that. I don't know where the final resolve is for this trade. Like, where's this thing going to go in the end of the day? Look at this punishment. Look at the pullback on that. Good God, man. Look at the euros going now. Fucking look at this thing. Holy shit. Wow, the dollar is just being... It's off the chart, dude. I can't even see the price now. Whoa. When's that going to come back? Holy shit. Look at all these buy stops I'm stacking up, just in case it goes the other way. Okay, go, there goes the euro, yeah, there goes the euro. Okay, we're going to the moon, Alice. <laughs> right, we're going to the moon, Alice, possibly. Of course, this could be a trap. I don't know, I think Yellen's talking now. There's something going on, something's wrong. Right? It's a total eclipse of the euro. So we're finally getting the eclipse here, the Forex eclipse. Just took out the high of the day on the five minute. 
Now let's see how behavior will get up in, in the nosebleeds here. Thinking about cashing out as we get up to 130-ish. Of course, this could be a, uh, just a fucking psycho day. This is the five minute. We're coming up on the high of the year within uh, 40 pips of the high of the year of the euro dollar. I'm just looking for a psycho move north. And I, I don't maybe there maybe she's talking. I mean this yelling bitch. I, you can't trust her. Look at this retrace on the um, yen. The yen could still take out the high of it. Just went after the. So look at the four hour. I can't. I'm stuck on the five. I'm locked into this trade. Okay, we're cutting north on the euro yen. And I think that might be done. It might be a trap. We have to get follow through on this or it's just a trap trade. Okay. Look at this stuff. Look at the drama here. I got I got to delete the objects just to see what's going on here. Psychosis. Oh, we're just gonna have to crash that. Look at the psychosis here. Let's go to the one minute. Buy here on the one minute. I've got a pull back order so I can snipe that. A sniper ticket. Oops, can't do that. Fuck. Here's my sniper ticket. Oh, well, they're not letting me in because I got too tight to stop or something. Okay, we're looking for that big run. A vacuum fill to 130 on this guy, which is up here. 130 ish. 130 and beyond, I would say, possible. Still smashing this thing into the ground. Okay. Now I could put, put some more buy stops in here if I've cashed out of anything. Now I'm maxed out. Now this has to engulf. But check out the structure here. We can't check it out because we have to wait for that to. Uh, I just overloaded it again. This is how you know the limitations of your broker. You're pulling back to the breakout gate, to the breakout point here. This looks like a buy. It's a buy. I'm a sniper ticket. Buy at the market. Buy this one at the market. Um, and wait for this guy to update the chart. So he's not updated yet. Looking for a final conclusion to the euro up. Still frozen on this chart. Can't get it to. Uh... Oh, here it is. I don't know why it's, yeah, it's still frozen there. I see it's still timing out. I guess the uh, Bitcoin doesn't care. Bitcoin stalled out. All right, pullbacks here. Rally here, possibly. One more gust of wind to the upside, possibly. Still frozen, still not responding. Overloaded the platform. Five pip pullback. Can we get one more gust of wind to the upside so I can start getting out of my trades as we come up into the uh, 129.80? Euro is hell-bent on taking out the high of the year today, it looks like, possibly. And, of course, this would be all anticipation of what Draghi says, and then we can just... This is... This is I'm never going to get out of that, so... That's never going to respond. Okay, well, we'll just watch these two guys. So these guys are in sync now. Euro against the dollar. Dollar's tanking. I'll just put the dollar. I'll just put the chart up here, so we see what's going on here. So I'll just run them here. Uh, okay, they're still beating the shit out of this uh, currency. We'll go to the one minute, one minute chart, please. Okay, so um, coming up off the floor a little bit. Still not a buy. This is just going to be frozen forever. Well, that's say bye, goodbye, <laughs> goodbye, uh, a fucking uh, MT4. Just crushed by all the data, I suppose. 
Okay, here we make another high for the day. Bust through the top here, go for like a 20 to 30 pip run, maybe. Here comes the dollar yen up off the floor, so I can buy some of this. This is my scalp tickets, my snipers. Here we would uh, buy here like a goof right at the high of the day. Maybe get trapped. Here we'll just buy everything that's not nailed down. Okay, we're waiting for one final gust of wind here to take us up into the nosebleed here. I guess I should have gone to the zero hedge. They would have told me. I don't know what I don't know what the yelling must be talking about. What the fuck is it, right? My ethics book maybe is saying, I don't know. It's always a surprise with these people. You know, she's supposed to come out at noon. She's one of these early risers, I think. The second time she's done this shit. Yeah, they're not going to raise interest rates. Are you nuts? I don't know if that's what's driving the market. Okay, look at this. Look at the dollar getting crushed here. Dollar yen crush out. Just obliteration. Okay, I'm going to buy right there at the edge. And uh, so here, we just took out the high of the day. We just took out the high of the um, week. Uh, uh, high of the, the, you know, the week. On this guy, if we go to the four hour wicks, right? We just chop these wicks up here. We still have this would be the final destination up in there. Here's the one minute view, and here's one minute view. So you buy it like a sniper, you'd be buying down here. Waiting for this guy to go up, this guy to come up, this guy to go. They're, they'll all go up, but not at the same time, I think. It's like a domino thing, maybe. Definitely that dollar is getting hammered. I'm sure the dollar is just getting obliterated, probably against everything, right? CAD, whatever, fill in the blank. So we kind of know that, too, that story, right? The, uh, Of course, I, I can't, I'm usually overwhelmed, so I max uh, these three currencies here, probably the two majors and the guy that joins the, the glue, that the euro, yen. Yeah, it's like the glue between these two guys. So big, strong euro today. Um, just about to take out the high of the day here. Really getting ready to bail on this trade here. It's just getting too overdone to the upside. This one we could cash out right now. Take a lot of profits on this, just that symbol. Okay, so we're flat here. We're going to buy this with our free margin, extra margin. Here we're buying right at the edge like an idiot. Okay, because we're just counting on a big black. There's a big vacuum above us of about uh, 30 pips. Looking for a big gust of wind up. Okay, now we're uh, waiting for this draggy guy to come out and talk. Right? Who's the next goober to speak? So I don't know here. Let me see if they canceled the... Um, yeah, so Yellen came out and spoke. Look at this cunt. So she spoke at 10 a.m. Yeah, I don't know. They, they come out with this. So they had all the numbers queued up for the other... Uh, what the hell? I don't know, Forex Factory. Yeah, I'm coming out at noon. Well, Jesus Christ, is she, like, is she tra inside trader now? Is she inside trading the market? Maybe, right? Okay. So I'm getting ready to bail on this trade. We've got to get some foul through on this yen. We'll give it until, well, I guess as we're done until Draghi talks. Maybe we just drift up here. Here's a buy for a sniper entry. Buy at the market, buy here. This one we already bought at the edge like an idiot. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, they're backing it up here. I'm buying at the market with my sniper order. I'm underwater. I'm going to buy more of the dollar yen. It's the most oversold thing on the, ch on the charts. This looks like a possible pullback for another lunge up. This is a possible pullback. I don't know if I'm making money. I'm just, I'm just you know... I'm in this trade here with real money, but I just, I don't even know. I'm just fucking around the demo. 